true son of Ufwan. Brave son of Ufwan. There will be carnage! Hey guys, welcome to the stream. How's everyone doing today? Hope you're having a good weekend. Speak your Just do a little bit of this while waiting for people to show up and then we'll get to it. Who's ready for part 11? Standing by. Smash it to ruin. Can't remember the last 11 part stream. It has been a while and this might actually be the longest Warhammer 3 live stream so Smash far. Smash it to ruins. Born to lead. But it's been good. There will yeah. be carnage. I've always just wanted to entertain True people, and it's just one. that I could tell most of my other campaigns were just not entertaining for people. I await your command. But this campaign is an exception, and so I've always been happy to do longer live stream campaigns. Brave son but, you know, of I can see the average watch time Smash it to in rise. my analytics. Most of the time, it's just not this good. You know, if people aren't entertained True by a, by a campaign. One. It makes no sense in continuing there it, but if people are entertained by it, it makes every bit of sense to continue Noble it. It's just Google. that simple. There will be nice haircut. Thanks. I actually did it with Manscaped. I await your orders. What do you require? Smash it to ruins. But yeah, my I hair was getting out of control. Wall. Started Brave to look like a comb over. Worldwide. People were commenting on it. I've, I've been wanting to cut my hair off for a bit. Destruction. So I just, I get on with it. Born to leave. It'll grow back, mostly. Smash it to ruins. <laughs> Not much I can do with you it You have now. my attention. Destruction. No, Hayden, just surprised. No, no, no. I, I didn't think you were. Speak I was just mind. explaining that uh, the situation was at all. I'm very happy with how Speak things have turned mind. out with this. True son of Hopefully, it can one. continue. Uh, you know the AI is terrible when you can do 11 eight-hour streams and not lose a single battle. Well, by. There will be yes and no. Yes and no. Honestly, you can do a no defeat campaign in any Total War game. It's a matter of how cautious you are. And like, I've been pretty cautious with this campaign. So, I mean, if you're super reckless, you'll suffer a defeat. Noble son of Ulthuin, smash it to ruins. What do you require? Destruction. Brave son of Ulfwan. Smash it to ruins! There will be carnage! Alright, we had a failure. Impressive bud, looks right. Yeah, I know it looks better than... I know, I like having hair on my head, but it doesn't look good. I know. So, whatever. What are you gonna do? Alright, what do we got here? Hail and Hardy? No, thank you. You're out of here. Of the Ever Resistant Queen. only, please. Or feckin'. Nobles, we've got Frugal here. I need to find somewhere to put that. Lawmaster of Hoeth, we've got Blade Lord. Um, not something that I need any more of, so I will get rid of that. Oh, uh, hang on, hang on, hang on. We've got a Swordmaster of Hoeth Doomstack. I can't remember if I put a Blade Lord in it. I don't think it was needed. Uh, oh, nice. it was uh, he was over? Uh, he was over here, wasn't he? Defender of the Phoenix. I didn't. Throat. I didn't. Problem is getting it over here, so I'm not gonna worry about it. He doesn't need it. It just mainly just reduces upkeep costs, which at this point I don't think is important. Yeah, yeah, just reduced upkeep costs. Charge bonus is not an important stat for them, so I'm gonna get rid of that. Illumination. My eyes. Oh, my hair. Right. <laughs> Brother, do you have cancer? Where is the hair? Yes, I'm afraid I have cancer. All the ligma. I got ball cancer. By the way, I don't have ball cancer. Just want to make that clear. I do. I do have ligma though. See, this is this is the effect. All those red super chats made my hair fall out. I had to get a treatment to fix my ligma. <laughs> uh, let's see. We found out we've got a um, resistant light wizard. I just can't remember exactly where I wanted it. I think it was over here on this Princess one. Yeah, yeah. Okay, so we can recruit a wizard anywhere. So I'll do it here. Rank 10, By that's fine. Tower. Uh, 
that spell. Mage of Ulfwan. All right, and then this is not the try and meet up with it. I want to go that way, do they? Okay. Now there's still other wizards. I think we need to check. Where's my army? This one here Protector of needs Elf. to have a wizard. Kind of an army without a without a wizard, but it's either metal or beast magic. So we got nothing there that turn. And nothing here this turn. That's My okay. Powers are yours to come That's up. okay. They'll eventually get it and we can Faithful put it wherever. Servant. Are you going for world domination or until you lose or just get bored? Uh, whichever happens first, actually. I'm still enjoying the campaign. You guys still seem to be enjoying the campaign. Let's not worry about what the goal is because goals oftentimes ruins campaigns. Well, well, we've got one goal and that is we can't lose a battle. We lose a battle, the campaign is over immediately. No, no, like, loading to, okay. no, like, what's it called? Restart in the battle to, to, like, cheese it. If I lose a battle, that is it. I'm not going to, like, oh, but if I just alter four out of it, nope, none of that. Not going to do that this time. All right. There's a Great Skull Lakes over here, which is not an overly important settlement, but does secure this province for them. What are you doing? The winds are rising. You're scouting ahead for me. And if I don't get that, the dwarfs might. I did want to get to Zarnagrin, but I think the dwarfs are going to get there first. I do want to get Tyrion over here. Look, I don't think getting the Great Skull Lakes is important. Ever so loyal. I'm going to come over here and finish these idiots off. But we have to make sure we give Moving up this settlement. Out. It's not like I wanted it anyway. Alright, just go into no need for a stance. The winds are rising. Yep. Go that way actually. My path is clear. I got some um, intel up this way. Alright, gotta give this settlement over Greetings. to Nagareth. I sway to lower its tune. That's the one. For whom do you dance? Nice! Fate that was us. a that was a fair amount of money. Have you seen the Manor Lords game? Yep, I've seen it. It's uh, the early access to it starts in April this year, I think it is. I'm Can looking I forward assistance? to that. Okay, there's no need for these ones to go in that direction now, so maybe we should send them over this way. Hi, Elvin Archmage. Yes, yeah, send them over this way. Master of High Magic. Archmage's duty. Master of high magic. Can I offer assistance? Because Tyrion will sort out these greenskins. Never. Handmaiden of the Ever Queen. Yeah, no problem. He'll sort them out. Okay, we're making some expansions over the here, but this is a little bit of an issue. We've got some defenses here for sure, but these greenskin armies, like especially that unit there, are very dangerous to deal with, especially if you've just got basic shit. They definitely can handle it, just oh, and that one as well. Okay. And then yeah, we've got these ones incoming. Those are an issue. Order shall be restored. Time is Looks like next turn we'll be able to finish off. Loki of Felhart, that's good. Bring me their verminous heads. Okay. Uh, let's do some construction. Uh, Kathleen oh, Weilbacker did a $2 super chat. Best Bretonia. Um, I think Carcassonne is the best, personally. But you really could argue eat any of them. But for me, it's, it's um, Carcassonne. The extra replenishment rate is just super useful. Because it also affects your uh, garrisons, allowing you to uh, get up to scratch really quickly. Because Bretonia doesn't have any global bonuses to casualty replenishment. They do have the damsel now, which is good. But that doesn't apply to uh, cities' garrisons. So I just find that a little bit more useful. Some of the other stuff, it's, it's not that Carcassonne's bonuses aren't, are, sorry, are amazing. 
It's that the other ones are not amazing. Although, Rapata's bonuses are pretty good because she gets extra public order, but I never felt that Bretonia had bad public order. Their, their public order is pretty good. Hey, Srini, how's it going, dude? Have you tried changing the lighting? You look as though you use light magic on your head. Uh, well, the problem is it's just, it's just a ceiling light. Um, I don't know what to say about that. It's just, it's just a ceiling light. I don't know, I don't know what to do. Are you looking forward to 500k, or is it all about overtaking the Total War channel? Yeah, well, 500k doesn't really mean anything, because there's no, like, YouTube plaque for that. Doesn't really change anything, whereas surpassing the official Total War YouTube channel, that's, that's pretty significant. Like I said, it's gonna happen. It's just a matter of when, not if. But it's gonna happen. Whether it happens this year, I'm not entirely sure. This year or some other year. Alright, we've also got to, um... Oh, we've got stuff to do here. Alright. So there's an army in here, but if I fought it manually... Sorry, if I came down here, I would have to fight it manually. Which isn't a real problem, because I don't think these ones could reach that in a single turn. Unhand the Supreme Patriarch! That being said, I probably only need one army to go and attack Erengrad. There's no reason to send two. Chariots is probably a bad choice to go down there. I can't imagine they're going to be very good at dealing with a siege. Whereas melee infantry typically are pretty good at sieges. So let's send Alistair down here. He'll probably be out of order to resolve this. Yeah, we can just order that. There's... Let me just level them up first. It might help a little bit with the cash. Because yes. there's nothing going to counterattack us. So we have no real threats there. Oriya. Yep, that's good. Don't need that. Oh wow, look how many levels I've got for this character. Cool. Cool. Uh, okay, for this one we don't really need Entangled or Hawker's Precision. Precision. Um, I feel like... Oh, that does make her stronger. Diplomatic relations plus two with all factions isn't really that important. Influence plus one per turn. Um, yeah, look, I still feel as though Entangle is still the best option for us. I mean, we could pin down units we really don't want to be in melee. And that one does give her quite a lot of uh, bonus strength. Uh, Bean uh, Sosa became a member. All right, thanks, dude. Appreciate that support. Welcome to being a member. And, yeah, okay. Uh, let's see. Hopefully this stuff here will help the order resolve so we just don't take as much damage, which means lower recovery time. At Legend of War gave you, though, of getting into the HD remake of Empires 2. There's such a huge community around it now. Uh, probably not. My loyalty really is to Total War. Like, I, I like... Age of Empires 2, don't get me wrong. But I really can't see myself abandoning Total War to go and play Age of Empires 2. It's just... It'll never hold my interest in the same way that Total War does. I'm sure the game is great. But it's just not the same thing. Yeah, I'm, actually, I'm a big fan of Age of Empires 2, but I, I just don't think I can build a channel around it. Alright. 20 levels up for you, okay. <laughs> He's just been rolling around without leveling up. Haven't needed to. Not even even now I don't really need to, I just 
Hey, right, just do it. You know? Man, you get extra ward save there for those other guys that are resilient. God, you can get so much ward save on these characters. Alright, that's all of them leveled up. And how are we going for equipment? Yeah, they've all got equipment. So, oh, hang on. Alistair doesn't None have a you. something. Probably an enchanted item. Yeah, he doesn't have an enchanted item. So, why don't we give him something? I don't think there's anything amazing in here. Horn of all. That's pretty useless. Oh, base... No, I don't worry about base weapon damage. Yeah, that's pretty useless. Let's just fuse that. Sacred Incense. That's not terrible. Melee defense and spell resistance. Would say... No, it's a talisman. He's already got one of those. Looking for enchanted items. I mean, we got way too many amulets of fire here. They're, they're not really that useful. Ring of... Yeah, I like the Ring of Corin. I think that's good because it's actual weapon strength, so it's good for dueling. And also, the Bound Ring of... Uh, the, this spell here is good for um, debuffing characters that have, like, spells. So they stop casting spells. And All right. I switch bows to Still going to no. resolve it. So it went from medium casualties to low casualties. So that's that's good. Doing all that reduces the downtime. Uh, I might hold on to the settlement. So I'm still gonna loot it. Potion of toughness for Alistair. He's got a life wizard in the army, so healing is not really needed outside of that. His army probably should have had a metal wizard, it's just that life wizards have shown up more often. So this is a pretty safe region, I think. If we just build up some defenses here, because eventually we're going to be fighting Reichland and the Ice Court, hopefully not at the same time. Don't need pottery, probably should re oh no, that didn't need repairs. Repairing this is not essential, what has happened over time. Uh, let's see here. D do any of these buildings provide us... So this provides us with a mage in the garrison. I'm not expecting a counterattack, but it'd be good to have something just in case. And yeah, just go for that. Cool. Alright, and then over here, we want to strike at Fort Ostrosk. I would prefer to be able to auto-resolve it, but I kind of expect that we'll have to fight it manually, but let's just see how we go. Oh, that's... Oh, okay. That order resolve is not as good as I was hoping. Because, yeah... Medium casualties will probably really wreck these Tyranoc chariots. Hmm. We fight for the greater good. Kislev does seem to be pretty powerful in order resolve. But here's in the problem. It will just... It's just tedious fighting these sieges. They're not difficult, they're just tedious. Uh, Kathleen Weilbacker. Did a $2 submission. Ever played Hearts of Iron 4? It's like World War 2 Total War. Yep, I've played World War... Uh, sorry, I've played um, Hearts of Iron 4. I've actually got some content on it on this channel. Again, I wouldn't base my channel around it. But I think it's a good game. Very good game because... What did it come out? 2015 or something like that? And there's still got support. I kind of like the fact that um, that Paradox support their games for so long, at least in comparison to Creative Assembly. Creative Assembly abandoned their games pretty quickly. That being said, Paradox are known for abandoning games that don't do well, like Imperator Rome, which was a bit of a shame because I was really looking forward to that one being amazing, and it just wasn't. They eventually got it in an okay place, but I, th I think they just couldn't get the player base back. Alright, so with this one here...
Yeah, I really want to not have to auto resolve this. Hang on, we got some lower levels up to distribute. This stuff here should make a difference. I think Alariel kind of doesn't really have anything important to put into. Like, you don't really need exorcism, it's not a really good thing. Arcane on Forging is not too bad. It's, I've always found it to be an expensive spell. But what else can she get here? Elven, elven healing for extra replenishment? I don't think she needs it. Doesn't need Merchant Lord. Oh yeah, two points into Lightning Strike. Eh, could be useful later down the track. This one here, Mentor. And literally every skill unlocked on the wizard. 14 skills here, but like none of them are needed. I got one point left. I could put it into Indomitable. Yeah, that's fine. You don't want them to have too much leadership because you don't want them to fight to the death a lot of the time. You want them to rout. You know, when they're really badly damaged. Because it's easier to pull them out of combat if they do it themselves than you trying to pull them out because they're unbreakable. Because units that are broken, the AI, well, just units don't target broken units very well. So that's all done. Uh, this guy here's got ridiculous leadership, but whatever. Okay, and then we got our ancestor heroes. I wasn't able to steal the other ones off of Clan Angrand. Oh, we can have a look to see if they're. I don't really have another one of those types, so <laughs> it's not really very useful. Um... Oh, get that. That should actually help with auto resolve a fair bit. Oh, hang on, don't forget these. Yep. And we got the stain. Is he getting chemo? I'm getting a lot of comments like that. And yeah, I got I got ball cancer. There you go. <coughs> it's all the ligma it's all the red super chats. They gave me Ligma. Uh, can we see you in shades for a moment? I don't have any shades. I think people just need to get over the fact that I shaved my head. Just just get over it. It's not a big deal. Just you just gotta have to get over it. Alright, that should make a difference. We don't have any equipment on these guys here, which I don't think is that big of a deal. Um but if I have to fight this battle manually, then I will put some equipment on them. Let me just see how that goes for auto resolve. Hopefully that gets it down to close victory. Uh, it didn't. It didn't. Uh, lightning strike would make that worse. Alright, we're gonna have to put some equipment on there. light. Okay, then... Armor of Fortune. Don't need to have anything too spectacular on these guys. Just just give them something. I got, I got so much equipment in here. Bow of the Seafarer. That's ironic. Giant Blade will be fine. Again, another ironic weapon. Because he's short. Ugh, I'm in the book! Sapphire Guardian Phoenix. Kind of not super useful, but... Nah. Actually, actually, these guys here are pretty vulnerable to spells, so I'll give him that. Yeah, and then why does a Thane have an arcane item slot? That's weird. Okay, so now we're looking for enchanted items. Physical resistance. These guys are already at their maximum physical resistance, so that's actually a pretty pointless skill. Ring of Corin, Potion of Healing, Book of the Phoenix maybe? No. Potion of Toughness. Don't need Missile Resistance on them. I don't like these two items here, I'm going to fuse that. Cloak of Beards. That would be interesting for them to wear, but I don't actually like that item, because he already causes Fear or terror or something, so that's just that's just not excuse me, it's just not important. 
Book of Hoeth. Book of Asher. <laughs> That'll give us more. Yeah, whatever. I'll just give him the Book of Asher. And then... Anon Yumos did a $10 super chat. Loving the new look. Get a flat cap and some smart Hugo shades. You look like Warhammer 2 High Elf Rich. Okay. That was good. Thanks, super chat. Appreciate it. Okay, let's... Come on, come on. What are we going to put in the enchanted item? Something that's actually... Okay, we'll just do, go with the uh, Ring of Court. Actually, it's enchanted spy glut. Nah, don't worry about that. Okay, then this guy here. Give him some equipment. And the fortune will do. Okay, for weapons. Yeah, you can have a giant blade as well. And for talisman, let's give you golden crown of... Uh, that's not particularly... Whatever, I'll just get that one. Enchanted item. You can have a enchanted spyglass. Yep, that makes sense. Because you stuck around those guys. And I'll give you another Book of Asher. This will eventually give us loads of Winds of Magic for the army. Okay, everybody else in this army has got items. So I'm not going to bother switching them up. What you got? Tormentor Sword and Shield of the Merworm. Okay, that's fine. Why do you not fuse the items? I do every now and again. I just don't fuse everything because sometimes, sometimes grey items are actually better than than um, than blue items for the particular situation. I get that some people just want to have only blue items, but that's just not the best way to go about it. All right, I'm just I'm questioning about order resolving this. I really wanted to because it just saves so much time. Because when it comes down to a siege, it's just going to be tedious. But I really, I should fight this manually because they've got other armies close by. I was, I was hoping to at least get a close victory. Um, Everod's did a five dollar super chat. Shaved head plus beard combo, undefeated. Looks good. Yeah, I, f I kind of feel like if you're going to have a shaved head, then a beard helps. Otherwise, you kind of look like you've, or you're a cancer patient a little bit. So that's why I kept the beard. Alright, now I don't want this battle to take 45 minutes, so it's got a pretty big weak spot right here, so that's good. I reckon we should use the Shadow Wizard for Pit of Shades. I reckon we could walk out of this with pretty minimal casualties. Watch out for that tower there. Alright, start destroying these towers on the... F Actually, that one there's not really needed. Destroy this one. Reinforcements coming soon. And we're mainly just waiting for the Shadow Wizard. Alright, let's generate some winds here. Staff of Avalon. Oh, we've also got these. So... Oh, yeah. If you destroy a wall with a hero on it and the hero falls down, he dies. Yeah, boy! That's a big loss for them. For a very small cost, for us. All right, maybe... No, just keep that up, it's almost destroyed. All right, let's speed this up. All right, the range on these guys, they got 168 range, so they... We outrange them by a little bit. Just by a little bit. Alright, let's bring the heroes over. What's going on with this? What, 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 what did that? 
Okay, they got cannons in range. Move back. Alright, flying characters. Get over here. We need to go take out that... Hang on. We need to go take out that little Grom. We can't let that be shooting our, our characters, our, our units like that. Gotta get over there quickly. Oh, dude, that's just on foot. Death Frost. Okay, I can fix that up. A little bit of friendly fire under there, but that's okay. Take out that little Grom. Really important. Okay, you can move through here, and let's start using Pit of Shades. No need to overcast it. Regular cast will do it. Get off the walls, bitch. Okay, you need to get out of that. You do not want to be fighting a thing in the wood. Oh, there's a thing in the wood over here as well. We got rid of the little Grom. Okay, we got to get out of here. We've done what we needed to do here. Get out. Get out, get out, get out. Alright, let's go around destroying their towers. And any barricades we might see as well. Or any isolated units. Okay, so light wall sleds over there. That's pretty easy for us to go and kill. Uh, Thomas Leach did a 3.49 NZ Super Chat. Did Mrs. Legend rub their hair off with her thighs? Uh, no, she used the Manscaped razor because I asked her to and uh, we buzzed off my hair. This one here is getting targeted a fair bit. I think that's nice and cheap. Understood. It's so weird for Kislev, to, like regular Kislev factions, to have these units in their armies. This doesn't make sense. It's not a Kislevite unit. Not really. It shouldn't be. Good. Alright, let's take out this wizard. She keeps casting freaking Death Frost. But luckily she's not focusing on this one entirely, because that's the one that's taking the most mad damage. Alright, how are we going here? Okay, let's destroy another section of wall. You've been shot up a little bit. That's okay, you can heal. Torment the sword sorts that out. Good. Heart of Avalon, really good for healing. And it didn't fucking... Oh, no, it did. <laughs> it did get it. Good. Killed her real quick. Eagle Claw. Alright, I need you to go over this way. Big clusters of infantry. That's what I want to be using my magic on, which we have heaps of. And smashing towers. Okay, these ones here destroyed another section of wall. 
The more sections of wall we destroy, the less likely they are to put guys up on the wall. So making our advance a lot easier when the time comes. Okay, if I use this shot here, I might actually be able to aim at that e incarnate elemental of beasts. I need to call it something easier. An IEB. An IB. They shall be henceforth known as an IB. No, an IOB. An IOB. An IOB. I don't know. It's still not very good. IEOB. No, it's still not sound good. Alrighty, right, 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 right. So, it was hitting it, but it moved out of the way. Good. This one over here is getting really good amount of damage in. Nearly 20,000 already. Yeah, these units will not be good in this siege. Kevin at Legend of Total War. I don't know what that means. The Ever Queen. Okay, cool. Oh, Eagle Claw Bolt Throwers got a decent amount of damage here. Nothing spectacular. But I wasn't really, um... Oh, hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. I just restocked their ammo. And you can keep going. This over here is going just fine. Alright, it doesn't seem like there's that much left. This shouldn't take that much longer. Alright, stop. Stop. Let the Shadow Wizard do its thing. This looks like a good opportunity right here. Multiple units passing through for a pit of shades. And these ones coming in, getting affected by it as well. Very nice. Four units getting affected by it. Maybe I should have overcasted that one, but it's fine. All right, what next? I'm gonna be taking out isolated units and parts of the settlement that they don't need anymore. What makes Pit of Shades better than Banishment? Uh, Banishment moves around a fair bit, and I just don't feel like it does as much damage. Like, if we have a look at Banishment, it costs 12 Winds of Magic. This one here costs 12 Winds of Magic. Banishment does 7 damage per second. Uh, Pit of Shades does 5, so it's actually less. It lasts 13 seconds compared to 18 seconds. But yeah, I think the big thing is that the Banishment, they tend to move out of the way. Whereas, Pit of Shades just pins them in place, and you get the whole damage out with them. So it's, a, it's just a very easy spell to use. Like, if I casted a Banishment here, it'd just move out of the way. Which is very annoying. But if, you were, if you're dealing with a bigger cluster of units, then definitely Banishment would be better. But in, in siege situations, the AI tries not to clump up as much as it did in Warhammer 2. Okay, we got no more reserves left. That's fine. I don't think we need that much more. Alright, 
move these up a little bit more over here because there's some easy targets we could hit. Alright, I'm also going to bring in some sisters and try to shoot these IEOBs. good because these ones here are a fair bit of physical resistance so the magical attacks completely bypass that good god this is so good because they're also they're also unbreakable so they're not going to be affected by army losses and they're pretty quick for a big beast and that's two out of three now the other ones over here I think the army losses is really not that far away. Alright, can we pick on them again? Alright, these ones here. Okay, move over this way a little bit. I really don't think they're going to put any more people up on the walls, but if I can shoot over there, that'd be good. Let's bring them over here. They're not putting units up on the walls, so let's bring it over here and try to kill that incarnate elemental beast, the IEOB. Let's bring up the others here. I reckon if I kill... Where's it going? Yeah, that one there. That'll cause the army losses, because they're worth a ton of balance of power. They're really strong. They're trying to dodge, and they're doing a pretty good job of it at the moment. But if this keeps up, I will get them. Out of magic now. No, I'm not. Okay, I think we've army lost them all. We just need to get rid of this one. There we go. It's all back. It's all over. Their army lost. Cool. Even on fast forward mode, we didn't end up with a 45 minute long battle, but I would have liked to have just instantly done it because Siege is a dull. Do you prefer live streaming or making videos? I think I prefer doing a variety. If you just do one type, it gets a bit, bit arduous, bit boring. So mixing things up with a bit of variety is, is pretty good.
Alright. If we loot and occupy, we might even recover on this battle. Claim what is ours. Cool. Protect us. Yeah, we actually recovered the damage on that one. Alariel the Ever Queen. Only a little bit of damage on these two here, because they don't recover from that, but that's fine. Alright, cool. Oh, they're definitely in good enough shape to be able to handle them. So that's good. Alright, hand over Beef Stroganoff and... Actually, I was going to possibly handle Beef Stroganoff off to Katarin, because I want to swap for some settlements, but let me just check. It's only worth 32 to her. I think she was willing to give up Nagel Farley Plains. Yeah, she's willing to swap for that. Because I, I want to try to get a bit of connection going on up this way, so I can give these settlements here to Alithanar. I don't want to have any of my territory bordering Katarin, so that I've just got armies out here, rather than, than cities. So, for that, I really need to be swapping for Winterpyre. No amount of money will will fix that up. All right. What if instead we gave the Fort Ostrosk? What if we gave that one? She might accept it for that. Yeah, she does. Okay. Okay. And then some. All right. I think I'll make that trade. Yeah, but not this turn, I'll do it next turn. And then she can give me a ton of money. If we build this, we'll be able to get even more from her. And it's not that big of an expense. We'll just see what she offers for it. Okay, give these two settlements here to... Hang on, Winter Pirate. What about Altar of Spawns? Let's see if she'll offer... Um, let me just see what it, I can get for Altar of Spawns. Yeah, that's even harder to get off. Maybe, maybe I should swap this one for Fort Ostrosk instead. Yeah, I think I should do that. Because this one here, even though it's good for me, this one here is worth more. And I should, I should be able to make that trade for um, Elithanar then. Can't you ask for two settlements in exchange for one? Nope, you can't. It's only one. You can't ask her to. You can only do one settlement per trade. What would you have of me? All right, now this one over here. If I launch the attack here, it's another one that I have to fight manually, because these armies here could launch the attack on us. The other thing I could do is just not worry about Volksgrad. Instead, go for the Temple of Heimkull. Because for some reason, Elithanar didn't want those settlements. And just get Volksgrad later. I think I'll do that. So I'm going to force march rest. to here, because I just don't think there's anything... No, actually, Choose force marching is risky. I'll just regular march to here. I'll still get there. Same amount of time. And that should keep us pretty safe. Cool. All this stuff over here seems fine. And let's have a look at what other movements we've got. Let's, let's see about, uh, we got more construction to fit. Oh, hang on, hang on. No, no. I had to give off these two settlements to Elithanar. So, Beef Stroganoff. If I must. He's out of money. Oh, well, that's fine. Fate favors us. And what was the other settlement called? Joy Shank. Fine. This serves Nagarith. All right, that looks good. Let's continue construction. The plus ten melee defense auxiliary to the dragon sacks. Yeah, okay. Let's let's do that. That's actually a good point. I've probably forgotten about that. So this one here, yeah, fake Imrek. I'm not sure if I put that on him. 
I did. Yep. Okay, he's already got that. The other dragon one here. I'm pretty sure he does have it. No, he's got the dragon armor, but not the other one. Okay, let's do that. And I'm fairly sure Imric has that. He does not. Alright, he doesn't need a minstrel. That is not that important. But yeah, extra melee defense for his entire army. That sounds good. Alright, so... So, so, so. These two are making their way over to Orion camp. Because we got a couple of turns before we can declare war on Volkmar. Yeah, that's right. Four turns left. There's a rogue army. No, there isn't. By the gods. Alright. Clackwars got its defenses built, so just basically stand on the border here and trespass. <laughs> because we want him to hate us. Master of the White Tower. Alright. Handmaiden of Alario. And start Hand putting scouts throughout his territory so we can Hand see what he's up to. Of the Ever Queen. That's it. Good. You will cool. Taste he has no allies whatsoever. No agreements. He does have some of these agreements, which he doesn't want to give them up. How does Thorek feel about him anyway? Thorek hates him, so why don't we just speak to Thorek? Because he's our ally. And tell him to break his military access with the Cult of Sigma. I don't think he's going to have any problem going to war with, with them. In fact, I might not even call him into the war. Alright, uh, so we've gone through all of this, right? Yep, we've gone through all that. No, hang on. Obsidian Peaks. I haven't finished that one. Okay, that's all the construction done. We checked the known factions. We need to be checking for our armies. Tyrion has moved. He'll take on Saber Mountain next turn. That should be fine. And then we'll send him up against the Greenskins. Time for him to face the endgame crisis. Okay, and then Eltharion is... Making his way up to Kunlan. That's good. Handmaiden of Alario. On the march. Ooh, our intel here seems pretty good. Handmaiden of Alario. Mage of Ulfwan. Very well. Yeah, just keep some tabs on Snickerdoodle. Okay. Defender of the Asir. Okay. Right, this one here was on full retreat from us. So I'm not worried about that. There's no other army backing it up. Princess of the Asir. I serve the king. We stand ready for action. Gonna watch this by being half blind from that glare. Hmm. All right, let me, let me just quickly see if I can make a, a quick adjustment to it, because that does seem to be annoying people. Just hang on a sec, guys. All right, let's see if this lighting is better. Okay, okay, I need to adjust that. I, I've, I turned down the lighting by putting on a, a lamp instead of the, of the light. But I need to check the... Um, hang on. Configure video. I need to turn the brightness back to default. It's at 100. And turn the contrast back down to a hundred. Uh, 
Alright, is that better? Are you happy now? Okay. Are you not entertained? Now, I just want you to know that I have reduced the ambience in my room for your pleasure, okay? I do not like this lighting setup as much. Now it looks like I'm living in a fucking basement. <laughs> Which I'm not. We stand ready for action. Anyway, that's fine. So this one here, just keeping an eye out for these armies. Guardian of the Phoenix. These ones here can't move because of all of the Eshin forces at the moment. Master of High Magic. LB Lord Hass did a AED 10 super check. Cool haircut. All right, thanks, dude. Appreciate that. Chaos lack. Lady of the Phoenix Court. Master of high magic. Hang on, I just want to make another adjustment. This is just not really doing it for the me winds as much. Empower us. Okay. Okay, that should be a bit better. I did myself. Friggin' light. Okay, I think that's a bit better. Jason eh, did a ten dollars super chat. Still looking good, legend. Happy to see episode eleven. All right, thanks, dude. Me too. Time is of the essence. All right. What would you have of me? Okay, this one here. Just keep on trespassing course. on their territory. Keep pissing them off. Defender of the Phoenix Throne. Teclis has moved. I second this. this one here just Going be a forth. nuisance somewhere. Moving off. Hmm. One thing to note about our conquest of Rapants is we're going to have to bite and hold with a lot of armies. Otherwise, I'm going to be having to demolish these settlements. I don't want to be giving them over to Clan Angrand. Unless I use this one here to just take out armies, and we... I don't know. Fake Imric, yep, just moved him. Of Elfwan. Defender of the Asir. We stand ready for action. Time is of the essence. How can I assist you? Let's hear it. Defender of the Ever Queen. Alright, where do I want you to go? Yeah, you should be coming down south here. Spend a little bit of turn in attrition, that'll be fine. Okay, this one here as well. This is our resilient stack. We didn't get another resilient this turn, did we? We did get a frugal. So I need to put him somewhere. This one is also coming to assist against Rapance. Loyal servant. Yeah, you'll be fine. Defender of the Phoenix Throne. Give the word. Master of high magic. Lethal grace given form. Mm -hmm. Do I play Paradox games? Not that often. Every now and again. I like them. Magic. I think they're good games. For the most part. Alright, I need to recruit some more. I'll go with um, Lotho and Seaguard here. I still take two turns to recruit them. Master of Magic. Okay, now we've got to figure out where to put this frugal character. Have we got a... We don't have one over here, so I guess I could put it there. Oh, I just gave that up. Okay, that's fine. Elf one's queen. 
Born to lead. Think I got lad? I want to do it myself, but don't have the balls. You've inspired me. Honestly, if your if your hair is starting to fall, it's 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 not bad. It's not bad. It's pretty comfortable, if nothing else. Um, my recommendation is if you are going to shave your head, grow a little bit of a beard. It just looks a bit better that way. Doesn't need to be a full beard, but that's just a recommendation. I need to have replenished troops as well. They're eventually able to get everything, but just check some of the stuff first. And make sure he is on an eagle. Good. Alright, I think we're done with this turn. I'm just trying to think of anything else. I've moved all my armies. We currently have 38 fucking armies. Just thinking what else I need to be doing. If Thorak ends up occupying all of this... No, no, no. I was just thinking about maybe confederating them, but no, not yet. I await your command. I've already done my agent actions. Just having a little bit of a look around. I could borrow... I could borrow... This army. Can't borrow Thorgrim's army. But if I borrow this army here... For one thing, for he's got some heroes. But another thing is that maybe Thorek won't Thorek launch the attack here door. straight away. Giving me some time to actually capture it myself. My maybe. For war. Of course, if Grimgore rolls down over here and attacks us, then I have to participate. Bit of a risk. Bit of a risk. The winds I don't have rising. as much intel over here. I could borrow this one instead, much better army, but it doesn't have any heroes. And it would be really good to steal their heroes. Yeah, I'm gonna take this one. Oh, I could launch the attack now. Haha, <laughs> I didn't think about that. I could launch the attack now. I got 18 units. Hang on, what are these? Level 35 and level 38. Interesting. I could steal them now. I could also steal his Master Rune of Passage. <laughs> That'd be nice. What else could I steal from them? Rune of Parrying. Yeah, you can steal their friggin' runes by doing this. Right. Right, right, right. Interesting. Military Presence of 10. Shit. I'd have to do a pretty damn good job there, because there could be an army at Black Fang. Okay, so there could also be a... There's definitely an army at Gorja Rock, but we have a look here. It says military presence of 10. That means there's another army in another province, another region. It's not this one here, because it's not in there. So it's either at Eagle Eries. Handmaiden of the Ever. It's not at Carrick Vlag. No, wait. Nick, not Carrick Vrag. It will be done. On the march. It has to be it has to be at Black Fang. There's a full stack waiting there, and it could be Grimgore. So if we capture the settlement. I won't listen. If we capture the settlement now, then Because I really want it, I don't want Thorgrim to get it. If I capture that now, I, I could very easily come under attack by whatever this is. And this is good army, but depending on how much damage I take here, I may not be able to handle it. And I can't borrow another army. Oh, do you have any missions for me? That would be good if you've got... No, they kind of stop giving you missions after a while. So yeah, that is a big risk. That is a big risk. I can't attach these out to go and have a look. That would be... No, wait. No way. Yeah, it doesn't let you do that. <laughs> Imagine if it did. 
Just pull them out and they become yours. Um, I don't have any other intel, I'm, but we can see these other settlements, so it has to be at Black Fang. There's no other where it could be. Summon me if you dare. If I just besiege the settlement, then they'll come down over here and, and uh, stop it. You could also help Thorgrim lose the battle. Well, that would mean I would suffer a defeat. I can't do that. To war! I could... Hang on. Hang on. Whose turn goes first? I'm pretty sure Thorgrim's turn goes first. Yeah, Thorgrim goes first. I could ask him... Yes. I could ask Thorgrim to Ring attack this area, room. and he'll move his army through here. I could maybe even ask him to defend Tsar Nagrand. If I do a good job of this battle. Plus, I could also recruit another one of my armies here. Okay, we're, we're going to do that. Let's see how I go in this battle here. Alright. Greenskins, it says that, but... Come on. So let's see. What are our what are our actual chances of victory? Now these settlements here, you've actually got quite a bit of an advantage with them because I should have that vol explosion. Plus we've got loads of artillery um, to knock them off their their things. We've got these heroes here, which I can do, I can do a lot with them. I got these two here. I can do a lot with that. I got these. I can do a lot with that. I may have to be careful with this battle. I don't think this is a good time to get these two wounded. Because we want to try to win this without taking much damage at all. Yeah, put these... Even though it says you're not supposed to put them on the characters, you absolutely can. Plus this one here is a, um, a runesmith. I could work with that. Alright. All right, all right, and give um, give you magical attacks. Why not? All right, let's see what we can do. Scroll out of the map to check. Yeah, I already I already know it's there though. By process of an elimination, it has to be there. But you're right. Um, could do that. All right, if I get absolutely smacked, I'm not worried about losing this battle because the AI is just bad at defending settlements. I'm not worried about that at all. But if I do a bad job of this battle, then I kind of... Hmm. Recruit regiments of renown in the conquered settlement. Problem is, regiments of renown should be used for emergencies, like uh, rogue armies. Because, yeah, we could we could lose these two guys on the settlement that's further north if we need to. It's also possible Grimgore's got, like, a war attached to his armies, although it did recently fail, so it shouldn't. All right, well, it says the bounce power is actually in our favor. You can tell because it's playing high off music. All right, we start with this one. We still get the Vol's Hammer and stuff. And let's just be very careful with this battle. Yeah, don't shoot just yet. Really gonna make use of you. This guy here's talking. Let's use him to sneak around a little bit and just have a little look. Do we have? Okay, we've got rune of rune of wrath and shit. Rune of wrath and shit. Okay, try a little bit of damage. That's the only one we have to worry about. It's all good. Sort that out. We are Do they have like a night goblin unit up here that's stalking? Because yeah, anything that's up here that's standing up here will get absolutely smashed. They don't. Alright, let's bring these up instead. And let's start bombing over here. 
What else we got? Slayers. This army should be pretty good at defending this settlement, if it comes to that, apart from just a lot of artillery. Depends on what they send at us, if they do. It'll be absolutely essential that we loot and occupy this to recover whatever damage we've taken. Alright, move up. If they brought up some guys up over here, I'll just demolish it that way. But we need to make sure that these shots shoot over the walls. Which, they're usually pretty good at doing that. You could sit here for bloody ages doing that. Alright, it doesn't seem like that's going to work. They just won't shoot them over the walls. Alright. That's bad. That's bad for us. Let's instead bring them around over here, and maybe I can demolish this section here. Don't worry about that tower. But if anything's going to like just demolish sections of wall, it should be these ones here. But yeah, the angle there is not great. Alright, let's bring in some quarrelers, because they're at least easy to use, and just maybe focus on the trolls, while I just figure out how we're going to dismantle this. Dark, isn't it? No, whatever. Break the gate and shoot through the hole? Yes, that is something I can do, but I'm hoping that they'll actually put units up here so that I can... Um... This is a weird settlement. If you demolish the gate, everyone on top of it gets killed. It's, it's a bit weird what happens with them. Like, we should see most of these Orc Arrow Boys here get destroyed. Look at how they're hiding behind this obstruction. That's actually really kind of clever of them. They do not seem interested in this area here. Higgins. Yeah, it does a bit of damage. It's all free. The shots we did on the trolls wasn't worth much, so just aim for regular infantry then. I may need to use the gyrocopter brimstone guns to take out the trolls. So this is about to be destroyed. Alright, I'm just I'm just gonna demolish this. Oh hang on, you need to stand back. Alright, let's bring in a unit of Iron Drakes. I'm going to put them in through here and start shooting through the gate. So when this gets destroyed... Yeah, look, everyone falls down and dies. Cool, cool, cool. Alright, shoot those trolls. I'd love to bomb there. Hmm. I'm going to do a longer range. I 
Now, the thing I could do is bring our Lord over here to just tank while the Iron Drakes just rip right through them. Maybe. Let's just see how we go with this first. Because we've got plenty of ammo. Uh, Jack did five dollars super chat. New haircut looks good on you, mate. Thanks for the stream. No, Zoom, my pleasure. Thank you for the super chat. Alright. That should go pretty well. They're weak against this. Good. Good, good, good. And it killed a few of them. Good. If they just keep bringing guys over here into the front, we should get through this pretty cheaply. Can't destroy any of these sections here. Good. Wish we had a engineer here so I could restore their ammo, but this is still pretty good. Doesn't seem like there's any towers threatening us here either, so if we have to move into this area here, that shouldn't be too bad. But they seem to keep coming back. They're like, take your hit, and they're like, oh, we'll just go back over there and we'll just see. Maybe it's not so bad. And that ends up being really freaking bad. Actually, you know what? The troll hammer torpedoes would be even better for them. Literally named after them. Uh, CH10, sorry, 17 DKK Super Chat. Welcome to the Trimmer on One Club. Okay, thanks for the Super Chat. Appreciate it. Move up and shoot that. Good, those are Black Orcs, so that's a high value target. Drake's on in guard mode. You're right. It's not essential. Because if I shoot anything that um, they can't technically see, they'll still move forward anyway. Guard mode is not infallible. Definitely better to have it than to not have it though. Yeah, they've, they've kind of got a maximum range. If you shoot at something that runs away, the shot fizzles out into nothing. Alright, just need for some units to come and stand over here. What are you doing? Don't fire at will. Okay, let's maybe try bring these ones up. They don't seem to want to be manning the walls anymore. So if we bring them up over here, maybe I can bomb the, the dudes that are coming around this way. Maybe I can break that section of wall. Let's come in a little bit closer. Take one shot and then fall back. Okay, they're full on coming out here. Yes, kill Orcs. Charge! Warlords, go! It's okay, they're only Orc boys, not a big deal. Uh, Mitch today, two pounds super chat, looking cool as a new cut legend. All right, thanks, dude. Appreciate that. Thanks for super chat. Good, they're turning around. They didn't do any damage. Turning it back up. Not right, turning around. 
Nothing can stop us. Go. Might move back properly. Oh, we showed them who's boss. Good. Good. All right, let's keep all of our heroes over there. I might shatter them. Okay, you can move over here. If anyone comes out this way in routes, we want to get them that way. Good, it shattered. It's good as dead now. All right, now these ones, let's bring them in a little bit more. Over here, trying to bomb that from an angle. Let the vengeance begin. Okay, that angle might just work for us. That's good. If I could just get a little bit closer, I guess they just couldn't shoot because of the slant of that heel. This way. But so far, I don't think we've taken a. Si oh no, we might have taken a little bit of damage with that. Yeah, I can see a couple of dead Darwi over there. That's fine. This is so far going really well. Do Iron Drake's dish out more damage than Warp Fire Throwers? I don't don't know. I think they're comparable, but... Oh, shit. They got artillery. Alright, where was that artillery? Okay, they're shooting from over there. Alright, these guys shouldn't have any problem coming over here. Oh, the problem is they got towers. Uh, yeah, I didn't need to take those out. Just have to hope we don't lose any gyrocopters. No. Okay, these guys here are kind of moving into it. Kind of wasting ammo with that, which would just lower our own bounce of power, so it's not really worth it. What well, might even be a good idea here is just to bomb them because they're going to have low morale. If I just get them off the artillery, these just don't go back onto it. They shouldn't get back on the artillery, but I really want to make sure that they don't. Take him down. Good. Now they definitely won't. Okay. You guys have done a good job. You can go back. Might use them again later. So this one, Iron Drake, so far, dished out 
but taking out about three full units. Why does he need this settlement now? Because if I don't take this now, Thorgrim will. It's a good settlement. It just means I'll have to wrestle it off Thorgrim's hands later. Oh, there's a single Black Orc there. Weird. For some reason, there's just one black orc here. Okay, well, they sorted him out. Sort of. What is going on with this dude? He's like, immortal. Shoot him! <laughs> uh, okay, he ran away. Okay, that's good. Alright, at least the trolls have used up all their regen now, so that's good. That's really good. Alright, these ones here. Let's continue bombing there. Now that they've got a few guys. Try to maybe do a little bit of, like, carpet bombing. Just, well, just area. Okay, now they're actually doing some decent damage. That's good. Alright, this guy here has used up all of his ammo. He more than did his worth. Very happy with that. Get over here. This is good. Very good. Because these are Black Orcs here. They're worth a lot of balance of power. And we're no longer doing any serious damage, so stop that. How to stop health loss during mount charges? Um, you can't. Going into it's like asking how do you not take damage while in melee? You're always going to take damage while in melee. That's unavoidable. The trick is to make sure the health damage that you're going to take was worth the amount that you dished out to the enemy. So for example, if you charge into a unit of halberds and do 100 damage, and they do 1000 damage to you, that's not really worth it, is it? What happened here? Did they just take some damage from something over here? Right, they're up on those walls. Okay, I need these to get over... Right, it's because of them, I think. And then they just got off the walls. Okay, that's fine. Now change, not charge. Sorry, okay. Thank you for that. Okay, on mount change, you okay. You will always lose health on a mount change if your character has any sort of HP bonuses. So the only way to prevent it on a mount change, I don't need to do this, is um so I just read that wrong. Um is to not have HP bonuses. Or you take the hero out of the army and then change the mount and then go back into it. But if the if the hero, for example, has plus twenty percent health, then you will always lose health every single time you change the mouth. It's unavoidable. But one thing that you can do to mitigate it is quick save and quick load. You will actually restore a little bit of your health every time you do that. So a little bit of a trick. So yeah, if you lose a lot of health because you're switching mounts, quick save and quick load and you'll get some back. And just a matter of the amount that you want back is dependent on how many times you quick save and quick load. Sorry, I can't read for shit sometimes. Alright, how are we going here? Alright, so I said... I wanted them to come around over this way. This isn't activated. Because if I destroy this section of wall, which I had another one of these, then they will fall down to their death. But if that one gets activated, that's not good. And they just moved away from it anyway. Just destroyed anyway. All 
All right, there's not that many units left. Not that much. And I reckon these unit, this uh, troll unit, it's gonna shatter real soon. Every time it gets close, it breaks. All right, we destroyed the gate. We actually have to destroy the the full section if we want to. Um, Yeah, just, just keep that up. Their ammo is not worth that much bounce power. I told you to keep shooting. Maybe I didn't. Just refused to. Ghost fighting with the high elves is the most cursed thing ever. Short of them fighting alongside greenskins, I think that they're... The Dwarves and the High Elves have been known to put aside their differences and fight together. You know, they don't like each other, but they, they recognize that there are bigger threats in the world. So, for example, when the Everchild, Aliathra, was captured by Manfred von Karstein, the Dwarves and the High Elves both worked together to try to recover her. So, it's not unheard of. Should shatter it good. Shouldn't be that much more. Yeah, you'd, you'd never see a Dwarf and Greenskin army fight together. That'd never happen. But Dwarf and High Elf, you could see that. Same thing with Dwarf and... Uh, dwarf and Skaven. You'd never see them fight together. Never. Two again. And let's bring in this one as well. I think we need to actually start advancing on them because they're going to not send too many units over here now. This is not doing a great job against those arrow boys. Still seems like they're pretty reluctant to have a consolidated fight against us here. Uh, River King did an eight dollar super chat. Thanks, dude. Appreciate the support. Appreciate the super chat. Okay, just get rid of this one if you wouldn't mind. Bomb that area as they're advancing. Okay, stop. Army losses can't be too far off now. And these in as well. But we're really taking minimal damage, which is exactly what I wanted to see.
Lemon. Yeah, they're very... Okay, there we go. We got we won. I was going to say they're very skittish. Alright, we barely took any damage. That's exactly what I wanted to see. We, we're fine to occupy the settlement. We should be fine. Now, this is a big risk because what could end up happening over the end turn is Grimgore Ironhide might show up with two armies and attack the settlement. I think that's unlikely, but it could happen. Hot take, fire effects looks better in Warhammer 2. I don't think that's a hot take. Except for, you know, talking about fire. Uh, do you prefer uh, total war games with no army losses or with army losses? It depends on the game, to be honest. I think that a game like this kind of needs it. it. Depends. I don't think it's a bad system. And it depends on how it's implemented. wasn't important. Alright, so looking over here, we now have Zarn. Oh, no. <laughs> there was another army I didn't see. Oh, no. For the wisdom of the land. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, no. No. Yes. Because the there's an army here. The and there's an army here. Stop pushing it. Oh, that means I might have to give up this settlement to the dwarfs. I didn't want to do that. That would have made that entire the po whole point of that fight entirely pointless. The only thing I can hope to do Please here is is realms. ask for Thorgrim Grudgebearer. If I want to hold on to the settlement, I need to ask Thorgrim Grudgebearer to please defend Zarnagrand. <laughs> With the last little bit of influence that I have left. Summon me if you dare. Shock off. Oh no. My axe thirsts mm. for war. Time to sell to Thorgrim. I don't want to sell it to Thorgrim. <laughs> I don't want to. That's the safest the option. Ready. Cause this this army can handle one army defending that settlement. It can't handle two. I could I could recruit I could recruit more stuff here. I just need a wizard. Let's get a what's gonna be best against these green skins? What's gonna be best? Uh oh no. Um probably What? Probably a life wizard. Onward Oh no, but what if they do that? What if they besiege with one army and then attack the reinforcements with the other? I could leave this one outside the settlement as well, but that would, would not help the situation. Yeah, because I know that there's an army here. Yeah, there is. There's a full stack sitting in there and it's probably Grimgore because I haven't seen him in a while. He's not in any of these other armies. Ah, oh, damn it. That, what a waste of time.
They might besiege with one army, attack with the other. That's what I'm thinking as well. Yeah. What do you require? I really wanted to get Tsar Nagrand now, wow. but it is not worth capturing this settlement and then losing a battle because of it. Uh, fuck. I just didn't know that that army was there. Because, yeah, the problem here is that this army's not fantastic. Like, these are not great units. These are good units, for sure. But I would be relying too heavily on just a handful of troops to hold the entire settlement against two full stacks. Even with cheese, that's going to be really hard. I can't switch their equipment. Unfortunately, I'm just going to have to write this one off as a, as a dud, I think. An ad? Yeah, I'm just going to have to write this one off. So... Belts? No. I'm going to have to sell, uh, give this army back as well. So... What do you want? Oh, hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. Hang on. Let me just see, if I give him Tsar Nagrand... That's the most I've ever been able to sell a settlement for. 162,000? That's not for nothing. Depriving him of money is not for nothing. Okay, so I sold him Tsar Nagrand. Now here's the thing, there's no garrison in this settlement. There's no garrison in the settlement. What might end up happening... I should just give this, this army back. It's not, it's just not worth it. Alright, well, you know, not that, like I needed the money, but unfortunately, I just yeah. Look, we saw that. Yeah, okay, it's not Grimgor, but it's still a high-level character. It's just too risky. It's too risky. Who knows? Maybe, maybe he'll end up losing it. All right, let's just move on to the next turn. That was disappointing. That was disappointing. Prince of Elfwan. All right, I've already checked everything. Uh, let's move on. Disappointing. Handmaiden of Alarion. Forgot to move them. That's Warden okay. of Safari. Handmaiden of Alario. I hear the Kadaif. You seek illumination? But yeah, I mean, getting that money, that's not bad at all. Especially considering we've taken it away from Thorgrim. I mean, he's been saving that up the entire campaign and we just bankrupted him. Well, not completely bankrupted him, but we stripped him of a lot of money. Just, I don't think that was really worth spending that amount of time on it, that's all. God be good. You have the nerve to stand before me. <laughs> Peace treaty the turn before they get attacked. Um, nah, I don't think so. They're about to die. Let's just finish them. Oh, no, they're, um... They're gonna listen to it down there. Stop, I need to see what the greenskins get up to. Yeah, if it was a high elf army, one of my armies sitting in Zarnagrin, I, I could feel like I could defend it, but not a, not a silly made dwarf army. No, I'm not saying dwarves have silly armies. I'm saying that army was not very good. Have you played any FPS game? FPS games are not my favorite, so I I don't really play them very often. Yeah, it looks like they're going to keep it. Grimgore's still on the run.
why don't you have a cheap ass editor to cut moments from your streams and promote your channel? Because I can't be bothered. Have you played any second person shooter games? Nope. Ooh, puppets of Misrule have declared war on Nagareth. This is this is fine, because uh, I'm I'm not bordering him, so it's fine. Alright, it does look as though Dryker is about to be finished for good. That's good. I, I didn't want to fight her. Will you play Total War Pharaoh livestream? No. The war against Sorghum is going to be intense. Yeah, no, I don't care that he's got a fair bit of an empire. It's all in pretty manageable location, so it shouldn't be too bad. But yeah, the fact that I just helped him expand was a bit of a bit of a dumb dumb on my part. I mean, we took a lot of money off him, so I gotta be proud of that at least. Do you follow some creators in particular for games that you play privately, like Anno 1800 or Factorio? Not really, not for those two games. I think I'm gonna put this one in Moving. that army there. Handmaiden of the Ever. All right, here we are at turn 144, and let's see. Chaos all wit. Easily out. Got to be very careful about fighting Village because of his teleport stance. Simple so archer-based army, not ideal to get, get teleported on top of. Yeah, they're all. Greenskins are all making their way back down this way, and that's fine. I was going to send Tyrion up through here, and then back around this way. I was hoping I might be able to borrow another army again soon, but yeah, I, I've, I made a bad call with that one, but Attack. oh well, it's fine. Nothing lost, just nothing gained. And we get Astrogoth's defeat trait, which is shit for Tyrion. Um, I'll let him occupy that. For the victor, the spoils. Can't you borrow and do the same thing with your southern high elf ally and start getting ground on Grimgore safe in the south? Yeah, but their armies, are s they suck. So, let's just see. I can't borrow this one because it's his faction leader. I can't borrow that army. Yeah, there's just nothing here that I can borrow right now. And I've, I've got an army on its way. So, we'll be there soon to capture this stuff. This is getting out of hand here. Stop that! You summoned me. You're not right yet. I was Master hoping I might be able to catch that friggin' army. It's been on the run for a little while. There's Grimgore. Okay. Or 46 Grimgore. Need to keep checking this pass out over here. All right. I can see what they're trying to do here. They are trying to gauge... They want me to attack here so they can back off so that Snitch can then ambush us. Mage of Ulfwan. Can I offer assistance? Because, yeah, if I end up moving more than 50% of my movement, then I can't get away from Snickerdoodle. And Assyrian we can see that he can... If I end my turn within this sphere of influence, I'm ambushed. So that's... Bit of a shit situation there. I really gotta play my hands well. We can get rid of Lockyer Felhart though, okay, he's he's finished. Avalon advances. Yeah, there doesn't seem anything that's gonna counterattack us there. So all of his heroes and everything, that's all going to go. Protector of Elfwan. Defender of the Asir. Good. Let's finish him off. Cool, I don't even need to bring the other army. That unit getting wiped out's no big deal. I will leave the Asa. Want to replace as many of the archers as possible. 
I'm gonna come both of them manually. Really. Or bring another army down this way. Alright, that's good. Snitches raiding. Oh, right, 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 sorry. Right, this one's in here. Okay. No. Okay. That army is less of a threat, but that could still ambush us. Alright, Blessed Dread is gone. Cool, cool, cool. Master of high magic. If you will it. Handmaiden of the Ever Queen. Check for any Miami's. Yeah, there's an army there. What would you have of me? But if that's it. Oh, so they came from here. They forced march down this way. If that's it, then this one here should be fine to just um, mosey on in later. Over us. Sorry if this is an appropriate question for the stream, but we'll see more content on your Legend of Valheim channel when new stuff comes out. Found those vids relaxing in streams. Uh, I'm thinking about it. Um, yeah, we just sort of... Um, we weren't really growing with the channel, and it just wasn't... It, like, it was fun, but we just sort of... It just sort of ran its course. So... I don't know. Yeah, the, the best answer I can give you is I don't know. I don't really have any plans right now of coming back. Sometimes I think about it. I would like to, but I just don't have time to focus on something that just has such a low return on investment. So I can't promise anything on that one. Alright, let's send you to Quinlan. Nothing in the way here. Yeah, I'll send uh, Eltharion to Quinlan assist. Fang sword ready. Recuperate and replenish. Champion of the Ever Queen. Good. With um, with Lockyer fell out out of here. That's a lot of heroes that are no longer annoying us, and of course Lockyer and his Black Arcs no longer causing us any problems. That is good. Spoils for the Asser. That is good. The vortex calls. Speak. I go. Archmage. Yep, this is all all good. So the stuff going on in Cathay, it's looking promising. Apart from this, this is a little bit iffy. Just a little bit. Because, yeah, with Snitch being there, if we send these two armies to fight them, there's actually... I, hang on, let me look here. No. Yeah, the problem here is that one of our armies is considered stronger than one of theirs. And the AI really doesn't stand and fight unless they've got the advantage. But if I By block this tower. army here, the problem is it's too high level. It probably Spell won't work. Caster. No, the chances are pretty damn low. I've also got this Time one here. But again, the problem is, even if I beat all these ones, this one could ambush one of my armies Stupid. and slaughter them. So I've got to be very careful. I'll come back to that in a minute. I'm still just thinking about what to do about that. This army oh, here is not in a position to be able to defend against that one. No. Let's see if I can block this army here. Pain will find them. Yeah. We stand ready for action. All right, if I bring both of my armies down here, I'm at the risk of being pincered no. by these two armies. So we got to be very careful about that. But if I also do nothing, Grimgore could run right past us and go into our softer area down here. Now, Great Hall of Greasus is not super well defended. We don't want these armies continuously recruiting. I'm fairly sure occupying this settlement here. Th this army here won't be able to... It's actually, if this one comes over here as well, with two armies, I should be able to repel that if they were to attack. We also need someone to go and take Veil of Titans, but there's no enemy army there right now, so it's not that big of a deal. Lord of the then there's this one over here. This is a big problem. I await your command. Smash it to ruin. How dare you fail? High Elven Archmage. We've got Scholar Good defenses in here with a High mediocre Elven army. Archmage. 
Same sort of sort of thing here. Mediocre army. If they were to send both of these armies in their current state, I should be able to handle it. Champion of the Ever Queen. Saber Mountain. Yeah, that'll be handed over to Elithanar. Queen. Okay, we can strike at Prague with these two. I don't think I'll have to fight that manually. Okay, this one Defend here needs to make its way over here. By the White Tower. Get rid of one of these. For the Phoenix King, the winds hearken to me. That's right. This one the here is meant to attach into that one as well. Uh, let's see, let's see, let's see, let's see. Yeah, so, um, the Great Orthodoxy, we have thoroughly beaten them so far in this war. Time is of the essence. You go and capture this, that shouldn't be a problem for us. Welcome. I was kind of hoping this one here was in range so I could catch it, With haste. but it doesn't seem to be the case. Sound the horn of Isha. If you use global, say, for archers, does every one of your armies get archers? Lady of the Phoenix no. I, I, no. <laughs> that's, that's a weird question. An ice witch bows to Noah in defense of Ulfwan. It's immense, my power. Uh, Tassos Panoff did a two euro super chat. Whoa, what is this Max Payne look? Looking sharp. Okay, thanks, dude. Appreciate that. How'd you like it? Handmaiden of Alari. Well, there's also this army, uh, this settlement up over here. Unhand the supreme patriarch. I mean, Sisters of Avalon will demolish them. So I'm, I'm gonna auto resolve this. It'll be fine. I don't need to bring that one in. To battle. Yeah, that'll be fine. Especially if I learn occupy, I'll get some it recovery is on that. Ours. Hey, obnoxious kiwi. Just dropping by to to like. Uh, have a good stream. Good night. All right, thanks, dude. Catch you another time. All right. Defender of the Asir. Can send this one over here. I think I would win. But then again, I want them to take yet yet yet. I want them to take it. So I'm gonna go over here. Good. All right, so Prague. Of the That's right. I think I was going to sell Fort Ostrosk to Katarin so that I could get Altar of Spawns. Your instructions. This army here should not be doing any sieges. It's primarily for field battles. So if I bring it out over here, it's quite possible I that Castalton will try to strike it Kisrael. out in the open. But that would be his mistake. Like. He wouldn't stand a chance against this. The, the Tyranoch Chariots would easily demolish him. Because, yeah, these guys here, plenty of ammo, would just shoot them all down. If he was to Absolute attempt that. Princess. So I don't think he will. So I'll leave them out in the open. If he wants to Moving attempt out. it, that's up to him. Let's get Alistair by force march over to Hell Pit before... Brave oh, that's right. You're over there as well. Time is of the essence. Before anyone else gets to help it. Although it doesn't really matter if Elithanar does it. I just don't want him getting damaged. Taking that. Alright, Erengrad. Erengrad, I think I can hold on to. I don't need to give this settlement up. Yeah, there's no danger with this. This is a good good defensive position. I don't need to give that one up. Don't need to sell it to um Elithanar. Fort Ostrosk. I... Uh, closer to Katarin. Oh, that's right. I was going to sell it. Okay. What news do you bring to the Ice Throne, friend? So, we want to sell Fort Ostrosk for... Let's see here. 
Tower of Crack, maybe? Just curious. She'll accept that. Because, yeah, I want to try to, uh, as much as possible, buy out all of her territory in Norska. Because that's kind of a threat. I don't want to be fighting in Norska again. Even though that is kind of Norska. Kind of a shit trade, to be honest. Especially considering I'm just going to give the settlement to, to uh, Alithana. I think I'll do it. No, I said I wanted to do Altar of Spawns, didn't I? Let me just check that. Altar of Spawns. Well, it's not worth as much as far as she's concerned, so I might be able to get that off her some other way. So let's let's go with the Tower of Crack. Like I said, I want to kick her out of uh, Norska. A pleasure. And a okay. And then with the Tower of Crack, I don't want to keep it. Because it's uh, not a walled settlement. Give that to Alithanar. And we just get it back later. The Shadow Crown weighs heavily on my head. Do not increase its Wait, 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 wait. Yeah, no, no, that's what we want to do. Uh, the Tower of Crack. Cool, get a bit of money for that. Yes. Alright, that's fine. Yeah, this is a concern here. These two armies are not good enough to take on these two armies. That's a concern. I still got to figure something out with that. All right, over here. All right, it's forty percent chance of blocking this army. If I put on the right followers, I can get that up to sixty percent. And if we can block it, then that'll make me feel a little bit more comfortable to push an attack. So that's with uh, one of these. And one of... Th where is it? One of these. 60% chance. Come on, don't fail me. Our enemies will suffer. Good. Okay. A bit of blockage. Okay, now, as long as we end the turn... Having wiped out both of these armies. We have nothing to fear. Okay. Lady of the Phoenix Court. Hmm. Setting off. Defender of the Ever Queen. This is not princely. Alright, I've got an idea. Defender of the Ever Queen. This army here is worth more in order resolve than this one. So what if I sent this one by itself in the hope of order resolving both of those armies so that I don't have to get any closer? And if I don't win the order resolve, then I'll just bring in the other army. For order. I can replace them. From a strategic point of view, I need to do this. If I bring in the other army, they'll run away. If I fight this manually, I won't be able to wipe them all out. The need. That sucks to lose those units, but I can just recover them. The most important thing there is to make sure they cannot counterattack. Take them captive. Can't armies not retreat while in underway? No, they can't retreat if they are intercepted while in the underway stance. They absolutely can retreat in underway stance if you attack them in that sort of way. All right, cool. So this guy's gonna need a few turns to recover. He can still get into a camp stance. That's awesome. So these take uh, two turns to recruit in global. So it's not too bad. It's not too bad. All right. So you, you come in over here. We march. Prince. And yeah, we'll start recruiting them, but I may end up cancelling that next turn. Then this one here, go to Shangyang, because there's nothing that's threatening Zhenwu right now. And these two, start making your way up here, because there's nothing threatening these settlements anymore. 
traveling. We stand ready for action. Preparing camp. So this army here. Never. Yeah, that's no. unlikely to catch us. Cool, cool, cool. Alright, we're really closing in on Clanation there. I think that that worked out about as best as we could have hoped. It is but one victory. Alright, that looks good. Alright, then looking over here with these guys. If I had my way, three turns, right? Yeah, three turns until they're defeated. Uh, until they're declared war on. High Elven Archmage. Yeah, I know my destination. This way. I'm just going to check some of my allies, make sure they actually still like me. Clan Angrund is... Ready. Yeah, they're still fine with us. They hate Ready. us. Oh, but not as much as they used to. Because I, I have to break their freaking alliance. Mind, and she will listen. Oh, God, I'm going to have to pay a fortune for this. Let me just see if influence has been reset. I don't think it has. No. I know I've got heaps of influence, but that's not really going to be worth it. Welcome. What business have you with me? Well, it's just going to cost a fortune, which she'll spend on recruiting. But since we're going to go to war with her within the next few turns, I think we need to do this now. For the lady! Oh, God. <laughs> All the money that I just got from Thorgrim was needed to isolate reparts from her allies. I will at once! No, she won't break off any of these other agreements. But no, but I don't think anyone else is going to establish another alliance with her. I know I've got money, that's what it's there for. But here's the thing, when you give them that much money, they start recruiting shitloads of units. But since I've got dragons in the area, I'll just have to kill shitloads of enemies, that's all. Yeah, there's ramifications on bribing the enemy that much. You end up with, with them recruiting just tons of armies. Yeah, see, if I could get them to attack this army, this settlement here, then I wouldn't worry about Grimgore, but since they can't reach, if I move them over to here, both of them can attack us. They can't attack us from this position. Defender of the Asir. Hmm. That has to, at the very least, get sacked. At the very least. Unless I bring this army in as well. Because that army is good. But if I've got two Can stacks... I mean, that's not a full stack. If I've got two armies defending it, that should be fine. Then they they might move to Karak Krakatan instead. It doesn't look like there's any armies down this way. So Grimtop... Okay, I'm going to move... This army to Grimtop, this army great to Great Hall, Hall of Greasus, and I'm going to recruit a new army at Shambletown. At your service. Grimgor has lightning strike. I don't think so. Ambush dance. No, that won't that won't work for, uh, against this. The Greenskins are not a faction that is overly affected by ambushes, and we're not a faction that's particularly good at dishing out ambushes. So. I don't think that's the right call. Right, you should be fine to force march. Archmage's duty. Grimgor's lightning strike. I don't think so. The need me. Okay, that's fine. Seize it. All right. So yeah, you come up to Grimtop, defend that position for now, and we'll need to recruit another army at Shambletown to defend against what's coming. So I'll put in another wizard. I want a life wizard. Doesn't have to be a good one. Like Peaky's fine. I will study here. 
All right, I'm gonna have to cancel those Lord Masters of Hoeth because I need to recruit in this army here. That's more important. Because of those other armies, they will probably make their way over here. Having seen this. God, I got everything I needed. Master of All right, I'm gonna go cancel magic. those sword masters of Hoeth. We can always just recruit them another time. It's not overly urgent. Whereas this is way more urgent. Master this has to be done. Because, yeah, if these guys here decide, oh, look, I'm going to attack Shambletown, I need to make sure I've got as many units as possible. Valiant. Altwin's protector. True yeah. magic. Now, this settlement here is no longer got a large army defending it, but I've been keeping an eye out here. There's been no, no activity, so we should be fine there. Of the essence. Now, if they decide to attack this settlement with two armies, what they can do is besiege with one army and attack this one with the other. Unless I decide to pay, take both of these and stand them outside the settlement, that could work. What orders? Yeah, I definitely don't want them coming over here. Because, yeah, they could beat I us. The There's no way to sell that too. I could just abandon it. What level is the settlement? Yeah, I could just abandon it. I'd get it back later. Maybe send them up to Vale of Titans. I don't know. I'll just skip that as it is. Alright, let's go through the list a little bit. Champion of the Ever Queen. Prince Eltharion. Protector of Ulfwan. Chaos Lax. Loyal Prince. Ready. High Elven Archmage. Okay, these ones here, there's. Right, we need to get more scouting out this way. Because we're going into the unknown. Magic's unleashed. <sighs> So yeah, I wanted to come around this way and finish off Kolek, who has built a smallish army over here. Well, actually, 17 is not small. Um, best to go in am uh, encamp stance, because I don't know what's out here. There could be armies in ambush stance. You never know. Okay, that's fine. Alright, I think we're pretty much at the end of this turn. Wisdom. She stays put. We stand ready for action. Loyal servant. Lord of the Phoenix Court. Magic in purest form. There is no limit to my power. I serve the king. Yeah, I won't. When the time does come in three turns, I want you to strike at one of their armies. So get ready for that one. I'm ready. Oh, because of the port there. Okay, let's upgrade that. Your request. All right, what are we doing this one? All right, both of these armies should progress towards Jingpo, I think. And then I'll send these four up through here, which I'll need a significant amount of scouting for that. Mm. 
That should be fine. So yeah, you just stay in there for this turn, and then I'll, <coughs> excuse me, I'll just move what them up to Jingbo next turn, because I'm not going to... We stand yeah, ready for action. Turn. Princess of Althuan. Great, I lost my place on where I was. Okay, now I went past Fake Imrik. Princess of Althuan. All right, that army is no longer needed. It doesn't mean I should disband it. I think if we can land it up river up here, yeah, that that would make it have some use. Treading lightly, because yeah, all these areas over here are now safe. I have served the Techless to stay put, maybe generate some magic. Seems like that would be pretty important to you. I serve the king. Reasonable. I'm listening. Can I offer assistance? Give the word. All good. It shall be done. Guardian of the Phoenix Crown. All right, we got these moving down. Across the waves. Okay, this is a battle there, but I can't be bothered going Journey back for it. On. Defender of the Asir. You're supposed to go and pick up. Henry. Charting a course. Okay. I answer to clan and hold. Own your skills, Dowie. Paladin of Bretonia. To the yard, men. All right. Henry the Massive has attached into an army. Cool. Cool, cool, cool. And I'll level them up later. They don't need any heals right now. Okay, and noble. Let's see what's in here. Conscientious. What about handmaidens? Nothing good in here. You have my attention. Your A. Rogue armies. Oh, you check that at the end of the turn. Actually, no. You know what? Sometimes I forget the end of the turn. I'll check now. No rogue armies this turn. But thanks for the reminder. Okay, and then we need to check for Law Masters of Hoeth. See what's available. Exhilarated. Yeah, that's good for Phoenix armies. I've already got a Phoenix army. I don't intend to get another one. So I'm just going to recruit and disband that. Because I still want to get more resilient characters. And Fecund, if they're willing to show up. Still looking for wizards, aren't we? So if I have a look at the Metal Wizard... Nope. The or Beast Ice. Wizard. Nope. Oh, well, just unlucky. Check for life. Ah, uh, sorry, not light. Sorry, not light. Light. Nope. My power There's a few armies out there that could use a light wizard. So that was the Phoenix Guard what army. You? Yep. It's all fine. Making their way down over here to smash her past. This will be particularly good against Bretonia. They're very bad at dealing with this. Because all of their cavalry, what are they going to do against Phoenix Guard? Alright, I think we're pretty much at the end of the turn here. How can I assist you? Journey. Ever loyal. Awaiting yep, orders. Says that. Your orders are reasonable. Guardian of the Phoenix Crown. Unfathomable knowledge. Olfuan Prince. We stand ready for action. I wield the winds. All right. And we'll just see what happens. Alright, I've checked... Pro I think there's a few provinces I haven't checked. I wish there wasn't an overlap on that, because that looks annoying. Alright.
Right. I don't need this here. Get rid of that. Repair that. Repair that. Village of the Moon. I don't think I need that. We should be okay to repair Jade Wind Mountain now. That's that's not a problem, I think. And build some defenses there. This will just be sold off to him next turn. Okay. What have I forgotten? I haven't done my agent spamming over here. Maybe let's just do a little bit of it. Yeah, see, this one's only got two turns left. Smash it to ruins. Just do a little bit. Born to lead. That's all. That's all. Don't want to bore people. What have I forgotten? Looks like it's all under control. And I've checked everything. Alright, let's move on to the next turn. No, uh, there's something down over here that I have forgotten. The feckend characters. Let's bring Evolved, them up to here. Because we want to grow the, the jungles of China. Forth. No, I cannot. Warden of Sapari. Champion of the Ever Queen. Lady of Old oh, good. Moving on. Few heroes not moved, but that's okay. None of them are important. Hand maiden of Alaria. Your command. Oh, I think they're going for it. No, they're not. <laughs> I thought they were going to go for my hero there, but they're going for the... Uh, sorry, going to go for my Tyranite Charities, but they're going for um, Katarin, which I'm fine with. Yeah. Wonder how, as a percentage, how much of the run is just making sure he didn't accidentally forget some stone could get attacked? Well, we've got such a wide front, we have to constantly check with that stuff. If we don't check, there will be vulnerable settlements that can, can get attacked. And the run would be over if a minor settlement... Like, how, how disappointing do you think it would be if this run was over because a minor settlement got attacked by a big friggin' full stack and it was a hopeless battle? That'd be, that'd be pretty disappointing. Declare war on Rapunzel soon? Yeah, three more turns. We've isolated her from her allies now. Gave her a ton of money, but just gonna have to deal with that. I despise you and all that you stand for. Pray once peace. Speak. Nope, I've got you by the rat balls, so I'm a gonna squeeze. Is Katarin on the menu? Not yet, but she will be eventually. Yeah, they're bailing. Alright, 
this... Uh, okay, I kind of figured they might attempt something like that. It's good to see Thoric there. Maybe he can back us up. Yeah, come on. I'm actually rooting for the Greenskins to win here. Yes. Kill... Capture that settlement back. I, I hated that I sold it to, um, to him. Oh, that one might not be within range of um, reinforcements. Lightning strike. But they still lose in order. But it says... Hang on, they've got lightning strike on, but it says I've got reinforcements coming in. What? I didn't have reinforcements coming in. Oh, that's fine. What does all lesser beings deserve? Well, the greenskins are still gobbling up the dwarfs, so I'm pretty happy with that. Come on, attack, 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 and... Good. Okay, I think I made the right decision in not holding on to Zarnagrand, <laughs> considering all the force that was here. Uh, I made the right choice. The dwarfs paid 162,000 for that settlement and ended up losing it. I think I made the right call. I would not have been able to defend against that with what we had. That's good. Could you add some locally recruited crap units to your Swordmaster stack just for now? Yeah, that's not a bad idea actually. I could always just disband them later. The funny thing about that order resolve is that I wasn't confident about fighting it manually. Our order resolve is really bloody strong. Alright, Grimgore's coming down this way. I'm no longer concerned about it because it's just one army. Uh, okay, here we go. This is what I kind of suspected might happen. Okay, that's, that's not so bad if they only bring one army. What's with them having no desire to occupy settlements? Yeah, grimgore has got a lot of armies. we got to be very careful, because a lot of our armies are not very good in that area. We have no real doom stacks there at the moment. How big is the AI money cheats in this difficulty? Not as much as it was in Warhammer th uh, 2, but significant enough that if you want like a fair campaign, you won't get one. Basically, it, I would consider it this way. The amount of money that the AI get on Legendary Difficulty is the bare minimum that they need in order to deal with an experienced player. And still lose. Pretty handily. How much do you think before Vampire on the menu? Well, I don't even border them. Their, their existence actually benefits me because it keeps the Empire from expanding. Keeps them from finishing what they're doing and turning their attentions elsewhere. So the status quo here works for me. So I, they're not on my to-do list right now. Uh, what I'm trying to do is isolate the people that are done. So wh uh, what's his name? Um, Volkmar, the Grim, and Rapance. They have no enemies at the moment, which means they're going to get bored. So we need to get in there and kill them. They're actually also bored of them. Then there's also Thoric Ironbrow. Who has a lot of territory. All the dwarves are going to be very difficult. It's based, The end game is going to be truly the dwarves. They're the only ones that have actually built a sizable natural arm, um, 
faction. Oh, the Greenskins did it, but not to the same extent. Do many barracks reduce global recruitment time for all factions? Yes, it's a it's a total war Warhammer thing. Has worked on Warhammer 1, Warhammer 2, and Warhammer 3. Do you enjoy the battle realism mechanic in Warhammer 3 at all? Um, I don't mind it. It's not my favorite thing about legendary difficulty at all. I would turn it off if I could. I've uh, learned to just deal with it. I don't like restrict camera, but again, just learned to deal with it. Disciples of Hashut done. Don. So that means the Chaos Dwarves are now an extinct race. Oh, it's another five settlements. So we're going to have a whole bunch of... Oh, not, not that many followers, because I've actually removed a lot of them. But we'll still get a fair few. Every five turns this will happen. Okay, cool, 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 cool. Alright, so Saber Mountain is of no value to me. We'll hand that over to Alithana. Let's have a look at how, how we're going here. We've got 242 settlements. How's Alith doing? He's got 54 settlements. I'm a little bit worried about giving him too much, but since we're more... But we're nearly five times his size, I don't think it's that big of a deal. Is there any chance that we could catch... No, there's no way we can catch that army. Is there any chance I can block it again? It's possible. Handmaiden of Alaria. Seventy-six percent chance seems pretty good. I'll they take it. And yeah, <laughs> it's all right. The main thing was that it succeeded last turn. It's okay. Whatever. Whatever. No. Time is of the essence. There's that famous legend of Total Warlock. Hey, Nis Kimball, how's it going, dude? Maybe you trade him a shit town plus the money for a good town. No, that's a waste of time. We don't need to do anything like that. Asur Princess. Okay, she's just out of range there. Absurd. But she's in range to attack Mingju. We need to know what else is out this way. Loyal I don't think the scape and have much. They cannot jump from here into here, even if they don't own the total gate. Or any of these other gates. So if we do own any of these gates, we need to really hold on to them. Village is a big threat. He can't teleport onto us when we're in a settlement. Dispatch me. Okay, encamp stance over to Wei Jin. This settlement is now, I believe, Gifted safe. Advisor. So you should be able to force march to city Defender of the Shugan Gan. I can't reach there that this turn. Assyrian guides us. Stay Moving together. Out. That should be a yeah. That's a good landmark for us. We won't get it straight away, but it's still good. All right. Force march to here. Shouldn't be anything in the way. We've kept a very good eye on this area here. I think nobody threatening us. All right. These two Direct need to make their way over to Jingpo. Just Moving do it in a camp stance so you don't get fucked by any possible what skavens. Would you have of me? Setting camp. There's no escape in here. Of we should be fine. And you. Of For the Phoenix yeah, King. Just come and land. Don't go into force march. At your service. Never. No. All right. I think that this Protect army here should alone go after Taizu. And it can I sit there for a couple of turns, maybe recruiting. Oh, hang on, we've got these armies here as well. We yeah, shall bring, bring them in, they'll be fine. There's nothing we here. Go. Snitch is wounded, he's going to be gone for a Ready couple of march. turns. You can't make it all the way, but that's fine. Making my way. Defender of the Ever Queen. My prowess is needed. F. Oh, because of the wound, right. 
Another good item. That's good. All right, so this one here. Yeah, they still take two turns to recruit. Ready to serve. All right, I can make it to Karak Krakaton, and this army will come and assist me. Is there defenses here? No. Alright, but something to keep in mind is that this army moved down here in regular stance, which means that Grimgore can probably move down here in regular stance as well. This army here will likely move out of the way. So this one here would have to show up and help as well. It would need to get in the back of its... Alright, we've also got this here, which seemed like a fairly silly move, I think. Alright, 53% chance of blocking that one. I just don't want it counter-attacking us after we've defeated this. I think these two Hi, armies here Elven should be able to beat that. There are some dangerous units in here, but I should be able to manage. Mage I need this one here to block town. that other army so it doesn't run away. Uh, so it doesn't counter-attack us. So I need a Seferian Bibliothecary and Court Attendant. No, not this one. 70% chance there, and 73% chance here. Yeah, block this one, and success. Okay, cool. That just means that this army is not going to be able to attack anything. Now, they probably moved up here because they didn't see any of these units because I just recruited them. Now, we don't have that much magic, which is a bit of a problem. This is a light wizard. Relatively low level lord. A few black orcs. A it's a pretty standard sort of army. This one here Pure magic. might even be able to beat it on its own. I know my destination. Alright, that should not be on that mount. Student of Teclis. They will die. Okay, they're standing and fighting. Hmm. Pyrrhic victory. Really? A lot of units get wiped out, but I, I don't feel like it would be that tough. Our reinforcements come in pretty quickly. I don't have any items on this one. I don't think it matters that much. I, mean, I got dragons. Let's fight it. Would you enjoy a strategic resource mechanic like needing to control import specific resources to recruit special units? Sort of. Um, I've actually thought about this kind of stuff um, a, a long time ago, like several years now. I actually made like a uh, a bunch of word documents uh, on what I would do to um, design Medieval Three. If you know, if if I was the main game designer for Medieval Three and I could do whatever I want in the game within reason, um, one of the mechanics that I thought of was a resource um, supply and demand system, where if, uh, let's just say, because if I, if I was designing a Medieval 3, it, there would be a population mechanic. And the higher your population, the more of a resource that you would need in order to satisfy uh, the need. And if you satisfied the need, you would get a global bonus, a, a fairly significant bonus. And if you didn't satisfy the need, you would uh, not get the global bonus. And if you couldn't fulfill it at all, or like you went under, say, 50%, you would actually get a negative. So at the very least, you would have to fill half of the need. Uh, and it would scale based on how much of it that you actually did. But let's just say, for example, you produced wine. And let's just say you have 100,000 people in your, in your empire. And every 1,000 people requires, say, 10 units of wine. So you would need... A th oh god, maths. <laughs> so a thousand, you would need a thousand units of wine in order to satisfy that need, as an example. 
I think that kind of thing would be really cool. Because what they've done in, like, um, other games is, like, especially, like, Rome 2, if you just acquire the resource, it immediately satisfies all of your needs. I need to get over to this. Sounds very anno like. Yeah, but very simple. Very simple. Like, if you just. It just gets auto distributed across your entire empire. You don't need to worry about logistic chains or anything like that. You know, if you've got a. If you've got a wine producing place, it might produce a thousand units of wine. And then just auto. And basically, if you had a trade agreement, you would sell the excess. Um, unless you said, you know. Again, in the complex stuff here, yeah, I don't even go into it. Especially considering I'm not the designer for Warhammer th um, for uh, Medieval 3. But yeah, Total War could definitely do stuff like that. Alright, I need to get back a little bit. Because this is okay terrain here. And yeah, just need to, need to get back a bit. Bounce of Power is actually in their favor at the moment. But, you know, we don't have our reinforcements in yet, so that's something we've got to deal with. We're definitely going to want a checkerboard going. Alright, they have a Doomed Over Catapult. We don't have much magic, but we do have Bound Spells, which I will use soon. Crimson Killers, we should probably zap them. And probably breath attack them would be a good idea. Let's buy Not the wrong one, but it's okay. Reinforcements coming in any second, that's good. Okay, Life Wizard, get over there. Alright, send these up front. These stay here, these stay here. It will be done. Love and seek God. I do not think the bounce of power is in their favor anymore. Orders to see. Onward. All right, we really want to get rid of those doom diver catapults, so let's land over there. Splitting up their army, that's good. Good. Make sure we use a breath attack since they're not trying to shoot us that heavily at the moment. Archers, we will obey. Loyal, loyal. Asso, forward. No time to check aboard. They're already upon us. But this, this is looking good at the moment. I'm not worried. Then walk right through that, slow them down. Go, the Doom Diver catapults got smashed. Let's pull this one back, it's taking too much damage. One back as well. Eagle Claw acknowledged. Asua, move, march. Unlimited power. This one's here getting smashed. Move them to the back. Oh, they had some nasty uh, toilet worthies. It's okay, they're not going to get too many of those. Alright, 
duty. We away. Got to be very careful where you pop down chain lightning because you very easily kill your own units. Careful where we're shooting, or else we end up getting a lot of friendly fire. Uh, this unit's unbreakable. Looks like we've inflicted the. No, we haven't inflicted the army losses yet. Okay, now we've inflicted the arm losses. Alright, now let's send our freshest units. Right. Shoot at that. Send our freshest units to go deal with the big end. Because, yeah, the Eagle Claw Bolt Throwers, I don't think they're doing that good of a job. Oh, they're doing okay. I will not tarry. I saw Archmage moving. Following orders. Archers, we advance. This thing does way too much weapon damage for me to justify sending them in to melee. Just shoot it. Even with all this armor and missile resistance, should be fine. Good. Medieval 3 needs the faction profits as summons once you reach high enough religious level. I don't, whatever. That just gibberish, really. Uh, dragon breath do a lot better versus single entities. You park right over the head. Yeah, I know, but it, it was fine. Get replenishment. This is all lesser beings deserve. The right, we're still into wipe it out, but at least this one here is not going to counter attack. Instead of defending these settlements, it's may maybe now time to actually capture this. Oh, they've built extra defenses here, so. High Elven Archmage. I can't go into global with that one anymore. I bring Azurian's fire, master of high magic. All right, no units getting wiped out. I'll take that. Easy with result there. Not fear our lessers. Cool. They can serve the tower. All right, time to finish off this section here. So, infused 
by Hoet's wisdom. That army is less dangerous than the one that we just fought. It's a lower level character. I don't think that this guy is going to make a break for it. I'd rather eat a squeak. Unfathomable knowledge. But I should try to recruit as much as I can before making the attack. This one I here, if you could generate change. some more winds of magic, that would be very helpful. We can also attach these heroes by. into the army, if we're going to make this attack next turn, which I might. Smash it to ruins. Good, succeeded there. Yeah, because if he doesn't go into the settlement, I can besiege with one army and attack with the other. Or then, he'll probably still just walk behind the settlement anyway. I see the winds. Alright, we still got to deal with this. I can't keep procrastinating this. Um. Master of high magic. I could take the settlement, give it to Thoric. I don't want to do that. I serve the king. This settlement here, Carrot Cracker Ten, is not a good defensive position. Right, if we have a look, Ready I can't reach serve. Grimgore, but that doesn't mean he can't reach me here. I'd rather eat a squeak. Oh, that is a pretty basic army. Let me think. This one coming in. God damn, that is a difficult to assess situation. I do not want Grimgore and this army here to team up. Okay, you try to block this one here. Stop it from coming to me. Pain will find them. Good. I'm just not going to catch up. Time is of the essence. Uh, Grimgord, it doesn't look like he's got lightning strike. It doesn't look like it. So we could threaten the Valley of Horns with these two in encamp stance. Not, don't get too close. We just want to be close enough that we can attack them. But if Grimgore attacks and he's able to lightning strike us somehow, then we want the ability to fall back. Our cause is true. Althwan's Archmage. If Grimgore was able to attack Great Hall of Greasus, we are fucked. Here's what I'm thinking at the moment. I'll come over here, take this settlement, and then give both this settlement and this so settlement here over to Thoric Ironbrow, and I'll just get him off him later. I doubt... Oh, hang on. Has this got a military building here? Can I offer assistance? It's got gold. Um... I, I mean, does he still like me a lot? Let me just see. Great Halls of Greasers. Let's see if I can sell that. I can't sell it to him just yet. I have to give him the other settlement first. What would you have of me? We shall not rest mm. if you will it. Because, yeah, that's a very close call there. And Grimgore might have enough movement to reach. How can I assist you? Hmm. There's nothing in here really that's gonna make him any stronger. Yeah, this one here, this is a tough one. It's good that Thoric will come in and assist. So if I take this army, bring it over here by itself. And what if I okay, what if I bring this army into the Great Halls of Greasus? I will do my duty. I should have put defenses in here. It's too late now. Because yeah, Greasus' army is no joke. We've got this one here as well. If it just stays. Even Archmages sleep. Yeah, I think we should give up both of these settlements, but I should try to take out this army here. That's what I'm thinking I should do. At your service. You have those two northern armies to assist attack on Grimgore? I can't reach him, though. That's the problem. I just can't reach him. Alright, we get a decisive victory here. I'll take that. We'll occupy that. So, big thanks to them. Lord of the Phoenix then we'll 
stand behind the settlement, sell Karak Krakaton to Thorak. I'll see if I can swap it for anything. Have you come to atone for your transgressions against the Dawi? I might be able to. Thing is, they usually hold on to these settlements for dear life, but maybe... Okay, Shattered Stone Bay I could take. Okay, I, I could do that one. Let's just see what else there is. Scrap Towers. Like, it's not threatening us anywhere. Maybe. So it takes Snail Trail. No. Uh, probably don't want to do that when I'm just about to fight Volkmar. Okay. I'm leaning towards the Shattered Stone Bay. Because, yeah, there are no enemy armies in this area. They're not recruiting anything here. Looks like they're going to capture Shattered Stone Isle. Okay, so Shattered Stone Bay. Done deal. Plus a heap load of money. 18,000. Plus, make him... Hang on, let me see. Can I make him break a non-aggression pact with, with anyone? Let me just check. No, he's not going to accept that. What about... What about her? Nope. What about that? Nope. Okay, can't make him break any treaties. I think that's a good deal. I'll take it. Aye. Do you have a follower which reduces movement on that lord? No, because there's been no attrition coming through here. I'll, I'll have a look, but I don't... I don't think so. Yeah, no, there isn't anything on there. Alright, now, if Grimgore attacks this settlement here, then I could just choose not to reinforce. If he attacks us, I can fall back. Now, we also need to sell off Great Hall of Greasus. Your orders are reasonable. Have you come to atone for your transgressions against the Dawi? There's Dowie? nothing I'm going to be able to sell this for. So I'm just going to have to, like, give it to him. I'll not, not give it to him. I'll sell it to him. And this army needs to fall back a little bit. If Grimgore attacks Great Hall of Greasus and occupies it, I'll be able to send both of these armies to kill him. If he stays put, I'll be able to send both of these armies to kill him. If he comes over here, I pretty much have to fall back. Right, so you just stand back a little winds. bit. Toward power. I know my a destination. Bit. Yeah, you'll be fine. And we will sell Great Hall of Greasus over to you. Casting the runes is thirsty work. Let's drink and talk. Damn, his economic power is quite strong. I'll take that. Okay, we got Shadowstone Bay now. Which it's okay. All right, it it does look as though this one is about to. What if Thoric decides to attack them? For the wisdom of no diplomatic contact, but they. Hang on, let me just check this. They they don't hate each other. But that would really. Fuck if they do. They, they should be fine. I need to land over a dread rock and try to capture that before anyone else does. I can't get any closer than that this time. Alright, so... be interesting to see what happens over this turn here, but I think I'm, I'm okay. What's this one doing? I can't negotiate with any of them. Alright, they're at war with the Greenskins as well, so they might be going for that settlement. That's fine. That is fine. Okay, the Moorgate has defenses, doesn't it? Yep. Okay, that's good. Alright, so this army here. If we were to pursue this one here on its own, I don't think that's necessarily a good Defender idea. Of the Asser. Guardian of the Phoenix Crown. We've got three armies here heading towards Jingpo. Princess of Althwan. Handmaiden of the Ever Queen. What? Um. Handmaiden of Alario. 
doesn't seem like there would be much of a counterattack at Mingjuk. If we have a look at Clan Eshin, I think they're thoroughly beaten in terms of their military forces. Although they could have a slight sliver of red, and that could mean two full stacks at this point. Can't reach this army. Unless. Hang on, hang on, hang on. What if I used. Prince Eltharion. Eltharion's got a lot of campaign movement range, and I think. Yeah, he does actually reach it. Okay, do that. Take Leave out that army. None alive. Because we just don't want to leave any of these little stragglers running around. They've got a uh, walled up settlement. Because what they could do is they could besiege with that army and then reinforce with like a whole bunch of force march armies. We weren't trying to prevent that. Defender of the Asir. You can't negotiate against in-game Christ unless you turn it on before the start of the campaign. Yes, that is correct. Yep. All right. Easy order resolve. To me, yep, it's fine. That saves a lot of time having to order resolve that. We bring order. All right, looking good in Cathay. We are rolling in everywhere here. Good stuff. We stand ready for action, master of high magic. Good, good, good. I am very worried about fighting village, the village idiot. Handmaiden of the Ever Queen. Here comes Ko, like, he does not have lightning strike, so I am not worried about elven dealing with him. Handmaiden of the Ever Queen. Oh, stay put, stay put for a second. Tyrion. Need to sell yeah. Saber Mountain. Oh. There is glory to be won. This place is ours. All right, and the Saber Mountain, sell that to them. Welcome to Nagarith, kin. I hope it's not too shocking. It's not worth much. The end justifies the means. Right, I'd like Alithanar to not go and capture Skull, uh, Great Skull Lakes before somebody else goes and snatches it. And I want the Greenskins here to succeed at Tsar Nagrand, because that'll make what I did the right For call. The yeah, the, the army that I borrowed looks very similar to this one, but it wasn't this one, I don't think. The army that I borrowed got wiped out. So I'm glad I gave it back, because that looked fucked. Handmaiden of the Ever Queen. Okay. Student of Teclis. Master of High Magic. I serve the Raven God. All right, we need to get past through here as quickly as possible. There's nothing that looks like that's Isha gonna threaten it. To threaten us. High mage. Seeking a trial, princess of the Asur. Setting off, master of high magic. Uh, okay, okay, okay. Does the faction's name still change to the High Elves when you confederate the other five legendary lords? Well, you can just change it to the High Elves whenever you want now. So you can just go... Whenever you want, and then your factions become the High Elves. So it doesn't it doesn't change on your... I mean, you can call them whatever you want. You can friggin' call it... Okay, you can't call it that. Uh, not enough text. You, you can call it whatever you want. Alright, uh, let's, let's go and have a look at heroes. I'm not sure if I've done that this turn. Alright, anything... Okay, we've got another resistant handmaiden. That's good. I'll have to find some uh, somewhere for that. We've got another resilient... That, that's not important. No, I don't need to recruit one this turn. Got athletic here. That's not what I want, so recruit and disband that. What do you seek? And mages, we're looking for beast wizard. Nope. Mage of Ulfwan. Getting pretty close to 10,000 influence, because I've never gotten that much. I'm, I'm pretty sure that's the cap. But I'm not sure. Nope. By the White Tower. And Light Wizard. No. So nothing what we wanted the there. But that's okay. It's not urgent. 
What do you require? Destruction. Just once again a little bit of this this turn. Brave See, this one doesn't have any influence Ulthuan. being obtained. There will be carnage. Gotta get some. Noble son of Ulthuan. I simply cannot. There will be carnage. I await your command. Smash it to ruins. Destruction. A noble and worthy cause. There will be carnage. You have my attention. Noble son of Ulthuan. Smash it to ruins. Like I said, I'm not going to do it with all of them because I know how annoying that is. Destruction! Just a Standing few. By. Destruction. Especially these ones at the back here. Require? They, um, some of them only have like a handful of Yeah, Noble this one here is out of, of turns. Ulthuan. There will be carnage. Not securing True influence, we're missing out on what, six influence per, per turn. Smash it to ruins. Speak your mind. There right, will be carnage. Let's start going through construction. Let's sort out what needs to be done there. Yep, this settlement here is nice and safe. Good. Because, yeah, it turns out we still need more money for bribes and stuff. Still gonna need some cash. Okay, we don't really have anything that we need to build here. Uh, build that one, I guess. And I'll build that one... There. I'll just build this one. Just running out of important buildings to build. Just don't need to build them now. In some locations. Don't need that, get rid of it. Switch this over to that. Okay, wine we don't need to make any more of. Do we have a Manscaped to thank for your new ball style? Uh, yeah, I did use the Manscaped razor for this, uh, but they didn't tell me to do it. definitely build up defenses here at some point I might have yes, to fight Lottie. okay this army's what coming in this army's coming in we wanted Alistair Egypt. the White Lion to get to help here it looks like he'll the get there first just stand there that should be fine we stand ready for action sure enough what would you have of me yep, bringing this one in we go Okay, I need to disband two of these units because I've All got a noble to attach. I have much to teach them. And also but the other engineer that we stole. Be good. Grease those axles! Princess of Althuan, handmaiden of the Ever Queen. Handmaiden of Alariel. Alariel right, the I kind Ever of want to test out the oh, don't be stupid. <laughs> I want to test out this army against Castelton. Blasphemy! I serve Orson. Oh god! What if I attack this and I lose? Because <laughs> I want, I want her to go to Volksgrad. What are you doing? Time is of the essence. I want you to go to Karag Vlag. Yep. Sell this over to Alithanar. 
Because, like, this is one of those situations where we're testing out a Mimi stack. So... Like, I'm pretty happy with these units and how they've performed against Kislev so far. That is a concern. Those are not that big of a concern. They can't keep up with us and we can outrange them. Yeah, we could have another Durthu moment. I have been determined not to have another Durthu moment in this campaign, but especially, it'd be especially stupid if I do this and Alariel is right there. Hang on, these two armies... Yeah, okay. If I attack this one, then Alariel just backs us up. And they can't retreat. So here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to fight this. Hang on, let me just level up first. But I'm going to not control large army. Basically tell Alariel, I don't need you. I don't need you, Alariel. But if things go to shit, we can bring her in. <laughs> but I would like to try to do this without needing Alariel. Okay. What happened with Durthu? The last time we played High Elves, I took a, de a really silly defeat versus Durthu. Alright, so I want to—I just want to see how this performs. So I'm going to not control this army. Uh, this Because I just want to use this against all of them. But I, I have got them here in backup just in case I do a bad job. Like, I feel like I'll be okay. But it's a mostly untested army. There's always Alt F4. I said I wasn't going to Alt F4 out of any battles in this. If I end up suffering a defeat, then that's just the end of it. Anyway, it comes. it's starting to look as though people are really losing interest in this campaign. Like, big time. I'm not seeing good analytics there, so... We'll, we'll see. Alright, so... This terrain is not ideal. Lots of cliffs and stuff everywhere, but... Try to get around them. Banner of Eternal Flame. Uh, I don't think any of them have any fire resistance. I don't think we need to worry about that. Is that 2k viewers though? Yeah, but we're decaying fast now. I'm really feeling a lot of pressure to, to wrap this campaign up. but like finish it off. So the support is, is decaying. You know, before too long it'll be... 500 people watching. People are definitely losing interest in it. You know, the hype is over. It doesn't mean this campaign is over, but I'm, I'm just telling you that the support is wavering. So, I think she, she used Death Frost there. Setting without question. It's a Saturday, that's when people who work 9 to 5 actually have the energy to play games instead of watching streams. Actually, Saturdays are usually one of the best days for streams, so that's a load of, sh a load of horseshit. Weapons ready. It's actually a load of horseshit. Yes. You just, just made that up. How did the Old World campaign stream turn out? It was fine, it was fine. It was only worth doing one stream on it, but it was fine. If I had done another stream on it, people would have got very bored, because we, we achieved what we needed to do.
So far performing well, I'm just worried that we're going to run out of ammunition before dealing with their most dangerous units. Because these ones here are anti-infantry. Start playing Kislev music. I'm glad I brought in reinforcements. Very glad. Okay, these war bears, they're not really doing so well because they're slow. We're just really quick. They can't catch us. But yeah, if we run out of ammunition, big problem. You've missed your streams, but 11 parts of the same campaign, yeah? Yeah, I, I don't. I'm not angry about it. I'm just saying that I, I can tell people are losing interest in it now, and that, there's nothing wrong with that. You know, 11 parts is a long time to watch something. Which stream had the most parts ever for you? I think the original High Elf campaign had 16 parts, and the... I think the um, the Empire one might have had more, because that was a tougher no-defeat campaign. That might have had more, but I'm not entirely sure. That, but that was Warhammer 2. This is the longest for Warhammer 3, without a doubt. I think we had 8 parts for Scarbrand, I think. And I think we had, I don't know, 6 parts for the This Is Total War um, uh, Tomb Kings campaign. used up a lot of ammo, and I haven't destroyed a single one of these. Alright, I need to get over there and start taking them out. Because I can beat most of these other units in melee. Hmm. Oh shit, look at that one. But I won't be able to defeat the incarnate elemental of beasts. Right, this guy's on foot. Whoops. Hang on. Hang on, hang on, hang on. Go after the ice guard there. What's it? Yeah, I think this army on its own wouldn't have had an easy time with this at all. Oh shit, I'm getting slaughtered here. Because there's a lot of anti-large, which these ones here would seriously struggle against. Okay. This is a problem, this is a problem, this is a problem. Um, just get it off the battlefield. Oh, right, that's from the garrison. No, you can leave. I'm leaving! Guide my bow. Without fail. Loyal. Swiftly. Making my way. Tyrannoch chariots. Swiftly! Hmm. Moving out. 
This one here is taking too much damage. I'm going to pull it off the battlefield. Came from behind. Get out of the way. So these chariots here, they can take on like the Griffin Legion, no problem. But taking on War Bear Riders, if they're damaged like that, it should be fine. But in current kind of elemental of beasts, I'm not sure. Uh, Pro Magnus George George Bruin did a 200 NOK super chat. Thanks for the good content. No, it's doing my pleasure. Thank you for the super chat. Appreciate it. By those up. Nice guard. Yeah, I think if I had made the attack with this army by itself, I probably would have lost. I would have run out of ammunition. And there's just too much anti-large in here. Not enough infantry. They would have just really struggled with it. Good thing they had support. Because, yeah, a Mimi army like this, you definitely don't want to leave it be on its own. Alright, now that we've sort of seen what they can do, I'm going to withdraw them from the battlefield and bring in the Sisters of Avalon, and that should just easily be able to finish the rest of this battle off. That way we get these guys out of here before they've taken even a single casualty as well. So it's time for Alariel's army to come in and show what, what they can do. That's not Alariel's army. You may go away. I don't need you. So yeah, I would say the Tyranoch Chariot Doomstack, probably not what you want to rely on in a campaign. It's okay to bring it around for the memes, but don't rely on it. Uh, Marius Loveless did a twenty dollars super chat. Much respect from the USA. Appreciate the content, big dog. No, nice, dude, my pleasure. Thank you for the super chat. Appreciate it. Without fail, let us withdraw. We advance. Making my way. Yes, Lundy. It's funny how withdrawing those units increased our balance of power here. It's all good. Alright, looks like they're going to come at us in waves, so we should be able to annihilate them very quickly. Oops, 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 oops. Come on, don't get too badly stuck. Come on, get, bring them over this way. You'll be fine. Don't think we need checkerboard formation, since most of what they've got are monsters. Single entity monsters. And checkerboard is mainly an anti-melee uh, infantry formation. Still not my favorite spot. Back a little bit. Right, they're just using Death Rocks, that's fine. But yeah, the incarnate elemental of beasts very weak to sisters of Avalon.
following Ethua. Winds of magic rise! Send we! Light of Avalon. Yeah, we'll probably army less them any moment now. Oh, hang on, hang on, hang on. Guardian of Avalon. There we go. Yeah, the Sisters of Avalon army, so much better than the Tyranoch Chariot army at dealing with this kind of stuff. So much better at it. But we actually really didn't take any damage, so it was fine. Oh, because I withdrew half the army, of course. <laughs> look at this. Pyrrhic victory. Ah, look at the damage! Look how much damage they did to me. I nearly died. Lol, Rip Rasputin. Uh, he'll be back. I don't think we'll wipe him out in the next five turns. Although he is nearly gone. The thing is, the remaining 97 troops of Castalton still need to be dealt with. This army here was on Force March. I think, although, they didn't... No, no, Castelton's army got wiped out. We wiped out everything. Right. I don't need to go pursuing them. We have no need for prisoners. How much damage to the chariots? Uh, they didn't do very much. Yeah, you got to be careful about going up against a lot of stuff with anti-large. That's what I wanted to just see how well they would do against it. They just, they just didn't have enough ammunition. Really. Alariel the Ever Queen. All right, with Prague, just curious, how badly does Katarin want it? Kingdom welcomes all its allies. Not that much. This reminds me, with Elithanar, could I the now give come. him some of these the other day settlements, day. like the Doomkeep? Are you prepared for dusk? No. Oh, hang on. No, I still can't give him the Doom Keep. Maybe if I gave him Nagle Farley Plains, which I can probably get off Katarin, but I'm not going to trade that for Prague. It's okay to give him give her Fort Ostros, but one of the major settlements, I don't think I should give her that. Can I offer assistance? Can I offer assistance? Well, she's not likely to declare what war on me. Do you bring to the because she's friend? very favorable towards me right now. So I, don't, I don't need to leave the large garrison at Prague, but also I'm not sure if I really want to give it to Alithanar. Because, yeah, fairly soon, we will be fighting against Katarin. I'm just trying to prepare for, for that as well. Alariel, the Ever Queen. Chariots cost a lot to maintain. Yeah, that doesn't really matter at this point here, though. Right, that's fine. Sound the horn of Isha. We do not want your pity. Who's your next enemy, Katarin? Well, the next enemy is Volkmar the Grim and Repant, but we're pretty much ready for that. We just need to wait for the... The cooldown to expire. Plesk. Is that a new settlement? Hi, Priestess. Has it? That hasn't always been there, has it? Isha's chosen. What would you have of me? I think that was added in Shadows of Change. I've just haven't been here since then. All right. So Volksgrad. Mistress of the Undying Forest. Yeah, I think I will sell Prague to Alithanar. I'm not sure if I'll be able to do it from here. Let me just check. I kneel before tomb. 
Will you bow beside me? I can, me? okay. Yeah, if I still in Prague, that, that means I just don't have to worry about it until it's time for confederation. So I let's take... Phoenix King. Let's take this army and force march it over it's to here. I'll get it to strike against that. Do you have a, a follower that's lowering your movements? No, okay. The shadows come, the day wanes. All right, Prague over you to you. Prepared for dusk. This serves Nagarith. Because it wasn't built up, I didn't need anything that was there. And I just don't want to sell it to Katarin. Prince. Now, let me just see. I might want to buy Nagel Farley planes. Ah, oh, she won't sell it to me now. Not unless I go to war with the Wargrove of Woe and then also offer her 91 grand. No thanks. Wargrove of Woe do seem to be pretty much on their way out, but I think this is something we can we can wait for. All right, this army, Time I want it going over we to Karak Vlag, and then that's basically the end of Castelton. In fact, we might not even see him again. He's he's well and truly beaten. Plesky's new? Okay, thanks. Thanks, dude. Chair had the guy on foot. Oh, you're right, I need to switch that guy up. He shouldn't be on foot. He should be on... should probably be on his flying mount. I must have switched him off for some reason. Oh, while he was securing influence, that's why. That's why. I just never switched it back on because I was auto resolving so much. Alright, let's go through the list here, see what needs to be done. Wait, have I gone through construction? Usually I go through the military list last. Because there's so much to go through. So UI tech is safe. Yep, we can pop down that. Will you confer to Lithanar before taking on Carl, or will you wait last moment? I haven't decided when, it's just not right now. Just, just for influence and... Yeah. Building here, which we put in here. I guess that, since there is a port here, why not? Rogue Army's check. Oh, okay, I'll do that after I'm finished construction. Yep, definitely should do a Rogue Army check. Let's leave that open out. I don't think I'm going to be recruiting from here, so let's actually get rid of it. This settlement should be safe. What happened to Zen Wu? Oh, they used the agent to repair it. I to damage it. Yeah, keep that wall there. Okay. Volksgrad. I might sell this settlement here off to uh, Katarin and just see what I can get out of it because there's already a military building, so it'll be worth a fair bit. Maybe. Well, we'll just see. We'll just see. Otherwise, it could be useful to Alithanar that way. Right, at Kunlan. Doesn't look like this place here needs defenses. We've got so many armies marching forward. There's no way that they're going to bring any armies. Oh, wait. I've already decided to build defenses there. So, moot point. Alright. Cavern of Sotek is kind of a frontier settlement. We should build our defenses here. 
Kaitsu is... doesn't require that. Also, I don't need this. It's a waste. Alright, looking for rogue armies. Let's have a look. Nothing this turn. That's good. Don't want rogue armies showing up. They suck. Yeah, the situation in Cathay right now looks really good. Looks like we can just storm right over them. Now, two of Village's armies are over here. Why is it that I'm able to see that? Handmaiden of the Ever Queen. Need to keep Forward. an eye on them. The winds are rising, moving. Grimgor, ah, uh, sorry, not Grimgor. Tyrion will swing ar around here, grab everything fear. that we can to sell them off to um, Alithanar. Okay, so I've checked all my my buildings. I think I've got some military movements to make over here. Time is of the essence. This one's going to need a follower to replenish. Yep, that's it. And just bring her into the Sorcerer's Making Island, waves. I think. Prince of Elfwine. It's okay, don't need to prong thing of all just yet. Because it slows us down. Alright, let's start going through this list here and figuring out who needs to move where. Got 39 armies now. You can add resistant handmaiden to one of your armies. That's right. Thanks, dude. Before I forget, let's Master let's do that. Of high magic. Which army Princess deserves a resistant handmaiden? Champion of the Ever Queen. Master of High Magic. Defender of the Asser. This area out here is a little bit Master dicey. Master of High Magic. Hang on. Infused by Hoet's wisdom. I think this army here should be globally recruiting. I think we'll bring the resistant handmaiden here. It's good to know that I can replace Tyranoch chariots in one turn. That's good. Alright, let's bring the if resistant handmaiden here. Yeah, I forgot about that, so thanks for reminding me. Handmaiden of the Ever Queen. Good. Did they lower the aggression of the rogue armies? Handmaiden it feels like they don't go hostile attack like they used to. Oh no! They definitely still attack. Especially, like, if you go back to episode... Celestial Storm. Uh, the, yeah. The turn that they showed up, they moved, and then they declared war on me. I was just lucky that I had a whole bunch of stuff in the area. And that was, that was probably the closest battle we came to a defeat in this campaign. So, rogue armies are definitely aggressive. Even though they stood no chance of actually defeating me as a faction, they seriously threatened me. That, um, that particular settlement. That was very lucky we won, won that one. Uh... I was going through the list, wasn't I? The Grim Prince. Yeah, so I'm kind of hoping Grimgore just does nothing, sits there, so that we can attack him with these two armies. I feel confident, because that looks like it's going to be a minor settlement battle due to the large garrison. And honestly, minor settlement battles against Greenskins are easier than field battles. Also, have you noticed that the green skin AI never use their WARS, like in battle, ever, in Warhammer 3? I'm pretty sure people in the um, the Reddit have pointed this out multiple times, and yet AI doesn't use WARS. Third party studio did a final super chat. Amazing series so far. Do you have any tips to deal with all the threats coming at you playing as Katarin of Kislev? Okay, so Katarin's campaign, you just have to be really diligent to just fucking destroy everyone ruthlessly. That is a threat, of high magic. and be as friendly as possible with factions that are not a threat. Even if they end up taking territory that should belong to you. Like, let's just say hypothetically, Ostermark takes... Lord of the Phoenix. Let's just say hypothetically, Ostermark takes um, Zavastra while you're not looking. 
let him have it. Focus on the true enemy. So I usually go after Azag the Slaughterer first and then go after Throt. Uh, but you can do it the other way around. It's just that I find that the green skins, if you um, if you play your cards right, you can really smash them at Karakongor. Whereas these ones here sort of are a bit skittish about going down south, and plus everyone else hates them. Sometimes I even find that uh, Castalton takes them out. So as you as more enemies keep coming down, you just have to be absolutely ruthless and destroy them every step of the way and show them absolutely no quarter. If you piss around with her campaign, you will probably get wrecked. It's just not the kind of campaign where you can stuff around. Right, so this army here, I don't want it moving by itself. It's not, actually not a bad army. So this one here is not blocked. It got critical success. Um, why don't you come over here just protect this one On my way. We're going to send all of these up here soon. I think this one should just Direct. locally recruit for the time being. What do we got in here? I'll just get some white lines. I'll replace them later. Best. Yep, Imric's doing nothing. That's fine. He's just got to wait. Orders. We stand ready for action. Given form. Yeah, the addition of the Chaos Dwarfs definitely made Katarin's campaign a bit more challenging, but you can definitely deal with it. A good Kislev player can handle Katarin's uh, campaign quite easily. Can I assist you? But yeah, it's just one of those Your campaigns that is like rec not originally recommended by Creative Assembly. It's just it's just a tough campaign. What would you have of me? There's a lot you've got to manage. Alright. Going yeah. forth. Wait, this one's called resistant. Lethal grace given form. How can I assist you? The essence. I serve the king. Wait, 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 wait. What if this army Impossible. comes back? You, you need to fall back a little bit. I'm listening. Stupid. Yeah, because if I can reach him, he Let might be able to reach me. I will see to it. No, no, no. That unforced march can't get down that far. We're fine, we're fine. Loyal Prince. Princess of Althwan. Loyal subject. Oh, this one's punitive. Right. Princess of Althwan. What orders? I wield the winds. The most gifted. All right, that seems like everything that needs to be done. Avalon. Biggest concern right now is this here. Whatever Grimgor does, I reckon what he'll try to do is attack this army. But like I said, I'll just back off. That being said, we do have this one here backing us up. But then again, their turn goes first. They might just move forward. Hard to say what's going to happen. What about missions? Anyone got any missions for me? No. Alright. Okay. Let me just check over here. How's the growth going? Yeah, we don't need this here anymore. But I'll keep them there and go up to tier 5. Uh, Gustavo Hicklebrink did a... Six euro super chat. Do you like fish dicks? I love fish dicks, man. I love putting them in my mouth and twirling them around in with my tongue. Just, I just love fish dicks. Oh my god, he's a gay fish. Yeah, that's an old joke. That's fine. You cancel the recruitment. Guardian. Thanks, dude. Yeah, you're right, I did. Ooh, Invocation of Isha. We're not really taking any attrition at the moment, so it's all good. I know there's one army that's taking attrition, but it's not, not a big, big deal. Uh, and how many turns until this is ready to go? Two turns. 
Yeah, I really don't want to lose reliability right now. Yes? Kuzlev! Yeah, that's all good. Do you know what I really like doing with fish sticks? Sticking them up my bum. <laughs> there you go. What am I forgetting? What am I forgetting? Okay, I'm not forgetting anything, but let's just see if there's any new lords that might be of interest to recruit another army, because, you know, 280,000 per turn is, you know, pretty decent. We got efficient. Nah, that's not very interesting. And doctrinal. Doctrinal. Okay, I can make another. I can make another um, one of these armies. Phoenix Guard. Why not? Everybody loves Phoenix Guard armies. Let's do it. At least they'll be strong in auto resolve, right? Legend equals Kanye confirmed. Tell you what, I do like recruiting lords at rank 49. That is pretty cool. Alright. And yep, we recruit them at max rank. Did I ever change Can this I up? Offer assistance? Yeah, change it back. Give me an extra. Did I I ch I'm pretty sure I checked for metal wizards. Let me just check again. Yeah, I did. So, alright. Now, now we're done with the turn. Wait, I didn't check for princesses. Maybe they might be punitive. <laughs> yeah, my, now we're done with the turn. Oh, there is a punitive. Okay, um, why don't we switch out a shitlord that we currently have? Because I don't really want to raise another army right now. I'd rather switch out a lord that shit. So this one over here. I'm pretty sure you're shit. You're not, you're not terrible. Uh, let's see. You called this guy here. Are you shit? No. Well, you, you're not good. <laughs> uh, these are both Defender punitive. Wait, this one's not. That's right. I have a punitive lord that I replaced this with because there wasn't a wizard in these armies. Because I wanted a light wizard. And I think I got a light wizard recently and I didn't give it to them. But I've already check that. Just leave that be for now. Um, what about these ones? Weaver of spells. Wizard and... Master we don't need two wizards here. Magic. You still enjoy Valheim in your spare time? I do like Valheim. I haven't played it in a while, though. What about these ones? Defend I'm pretty sure the these Phoenix were shitlords. We and that's a pretty good action. army. Adept. No, I'll, I'll keep you. Defender you? Are you a shitlord? No, not really. <laughs> you. Are you a shit lord? Yeah, you're pretty shit. Okay. What the hell? Yeah, I haven't played Valheim in quite a while. Any idea why CA don't let you recruit lords and heroes right at 50? I can't think of a reason. Um, 
causes a bug. Don't know. Yeah, it's just one of those things that I don't think really matters that much. Like, who cares? Level 49 is just as good as rank 50 as far as I'm concerned. But maybe maybe recruiting uh, lords at rank 50 causes... Maybe this is what happens. If you recruit a lord at rank 50, um, they might be able to like keep gaining extra levels up after that. So maybe they, they did it this way. It's, it's really hard to say because you know I'm not in communication with them about this kind of stuff. And it seems like a trivial thing to fight about. You, when it comes to creative assembly, you really have to pick your battles. All right, cool. All right, now we'll move on to the next turn. Handmaid of Alari. Do not ask this. Welcome. What brings you here? Declares war. No, she won't do that. Thex Sleeping Dragon says, One of you rats actually reported me, lol. Another reason to listen to this creator anymore. Okay. Why Why is that my fault, dude? I'm sure, I'm sure you meant another reason not to listen to this creator anymore. Seems, it's, yeah, you, there you go. You correct it with not. Seems like you got a bone to pick. My my recommendation to you, the sleep the ex sleeping dragon, is don't be anywhere that is making you unhappy. If you if you're not enjoying the live stream, my advice is don't watch the live stream. Okay. Um, if someone's reporting you, then maybe you're behaving in a way that is annoying people. So most people in this chat, the vast majority of them, don't bother reporting anyone unless you're being annoying. So, just think about that. But if you want to go, it's all good. You go. There is absolutely no point sitting here and complaining, because nobody is going to sympathize with you. Like, if you want to complain about me, the best way to get sympathy is go to somebody else's chat that doesn't like me. Good luck finding a, a, another streamer that doesn't like me, by the way. <laughs> they, they are out there, but they're much smaller. And then go and complain there. And you'll probably be having a whole bunch of support. Um... Probably, probably okay to find someone on Twitch. I don't have a huge number of fans on Twitch. There you go. Your game seems pretty laggy now. Are you about to conquer the whole map? It, it, it does seem to get a bit laggy around turn 150. Um, we've still got a, a fair bit to go to conquer the whole map. Uh, I was kind of hoping at some point we just like, just like rampage everywhere. But I'm always having to be worried about lightning strike and armies that are very dangerous. How much for you to sing armor plastic? Well, I, I don't take requests like that. Since when did you hide your Kratos self to chat? Hey, if people want to call me Kratos, I'm fine with that. Okay, here we go. I need to pay attention to this. Yeah, that army bailed out of that position. Oh, you freaking ruined my resistance. I don't think people don't like Legend. It's more like they criticize the cheese, usually multiplayer people. And that's totally fine. Yeah, I usually get most of my criticism from multiplayer people. But the thing is, multiplayer is not my like audience and so I don't worry about it so I'm not I I just leave the multiplayer community alone if I'm living rent free in their head that's that's fine but I don't think about them at all so if somebody comes in and says hey legend I'd watch you more if you played multiplayer that just tells me that you shouldn't be watching me you see more like Volkmar to me than Kairos Kairos 
Kairos. Uh, they meant Kratos from God of War. Look, whatever. I don't care. We all know that I'm Rob McElhoney, all right? Mac from It's Always Sunny in Philadelphia. Can't we just stay consistent with one character? Uh, you know we don't have to like you to watch you personally for X. I enjoy much of the gameplay, but not much of the commentary, but it's okay. Also, nice haircut. Oh, okay. No, you're right. You don't have to like me to watch me. That's fine, too. But it, again, if you, do, if you watch me and you like the gameplay, but you don't like the commentary, that's fine. But if you, like, go in the chat and complain about it, it's not going to do anything. Are there any factions left that pose a threat? Every faction potentially causes uh, a threat to a no defeat run. So the only way for there not to be any threat is to get this number down to zero. Oh, he's coming. The multiplayer community is lactose intolerant, they can't handle the cheese. And that's fine. I don't play multiplayer. I, I just... I'm not... It's, it shouldn't affect them. I cheese a lot less now than I did in Warhammer 2, I think. A lot less. You know, people still call me the Doomstack guy, but I, I don't really build Doomstacks anymore. You just don't need to in Warhammer 3. I us mostly use uh, crap stacks. Doesn't the game still crash if there are zero factions? Yeah, but we can't get down to zero because we, um, you cannot wipe out the, okay, cool. You cannot wipe out the changeling faction. If we have a look, oh, I don't need to have a look. Yeah, the changeling faction can't ever be wiped out, it seems. So that it, there's a war going on. Grimgo called a fucking war. Well, that's just fucking great. Asur Prince. What happened to? Oh, they fuck. They must have attacked us and lost. Stupid. Yeah, because they're a minor faction. That's why. Now Thorek's going to get that settlement. Well, at least I'll get Dreadrock, whatever. Be prepared, Asu. We need not fear our lessons. I do a lot of auto-resolving with this army because I consider it kind of invincible. Even if it's super badly damaged, I can just heal. Ah, oh, they, they buffed all... Oh, man. They buffed so many of their armies. That's going to make things a lot more difficult. Uh, looking at the Valley of Horns, yeah, they, that is a minor settlement battle. Um, yeah, because we got... Pretty, uh, calling this dog shit is an insult to dog shit. Be prepared, Asor. We stand ready for action. Hmm. Duty calls. Alright, what... Okay, what are we dealing with here? This, this is a lot of shit. We've got... I think it's doable, because they'll come in from weird locations. I think it's doable. I'll definitely have to fight them. I'll be very surprised if that's auto-resolvable. Hopefully there's no Black Orcs in... Let me think about it. Hmm. This guy probably won't be able to make it. No, he won't make it there. Yeah, I think I'm gonna have to fight that one manually. Think me, fool, fool. Your will is done. Attack. 
Can you confederate Elasor now? Uh, soon. Soon. Um... I will leave the Asa. Yeah, probably very soon. Not right this very second, but maybe in the next couple of turns. What would you have of me? We go! Your request? We shall not rest! I light the way. This probably a bit overkill no here. That's fine. The Asa need me. We are the conquerors! Uh, what are three confederation conditions that you mentioned a while ago? 150 relations, no expansion for seven turns, and one more thing, so I don't remember. Be, be, you gotta be stronger than the enemy faction. They have to feel somewhat threatened. Princess of Alkwine. Somewhat threatened. Like, if they're way stronger than the, you, then they're not going to confederate. Give the word. Alright, we Hand need of the scouts Evil. out here. Lathine. Her light <coughs> shines upon Turtle me. Turtle Gate's got a few defenders. Handmaiden of the Ever. For order. Alright, they're recruiting a new army over here. I'll blame you, you. That's fine. Handmaiden of Alaria. Under her protection. Alright, so not too much out this way. Main concern is that one there. Just move up and in camp stand should be fine. Wei Jin should be Time fine the if the Silver and Guard could just Making back up way. while this one here launches the attack. Should be an easy order resolve there. Kodlik went into ambush dance too. Alright, thanks dude, that's useful information. The Kadai watch over us! We bring order! Christoph the Legend Lover says, Am I unbanned? Uh, well, I can see your chat, so I guess so. I never, I don't recall banning you. Limitless talent. Because yeah, this army here will Let's win against Shadowstone Isle. There's no stopping that. I'm pretty Monster confident we can still win, though. But a this, on the other hand, this is a little bit frightening. Just a little bit. At least we've got a good amount of wins of magic. What are you? The light, light wizard. That's okay. We fight for order. Alright, I am going to make this attack because I, I feel fairly confident in it. Pretty funny if there's an army in ambush dance here. Live. And I get ambushed with this shit. <laughs> Order resolved? No. Uh, sir, we fight. You could borrow the army to prevent them from taking it. I thought about that, but there was no option to take it. I don't have enough influence. Alright. You push that one oh, down to south. My power. Nice. Nice, nice, nice. We take out a whole bunch of shit, including, I believe, Grimgore's war with that. <laughs> uh, yeah, I think we'll just do this. We need not fear our lessers. A little bit of damage. We absolutely need to Just replenish. From toil. Good. That deletes his war. And the other army that was there. Okay. Asa. Well, that looks a Will lot more doable win? now. Master of high magic. And we can auto resolve against Grimgore with quite a lot of casualties. But you know, they're just basic archers. We can replace that easily enough. And this is a foregone conclusion because it's very easy to assault a minor settlement battle. Very, very easy. It's just time consuming. And I don't want to waste people's time, so just For Asurian! We just gotta get on and sort of Seize conquer the, the rest of the map. Only really fight the battles that absolutely need to be fought. Because yeah, we're not expecting a counterattack there. So that's good, that everything worked out well there. Um, you know, gave up those settlements, but I'm, I'm less concerned about about that than just finishing Grimgore off. Which we're getting there. So the Valley of Horns, let's put in some defenses. Yeah, Grimgore's in pretty bad shape now. He's only got a handful of settlements left. Following your orders. 
handmaiden of the Ever Queen. Yeah, he is an ambush dance. Gifted All right, so easy to fix that. Just Poet march down in and camp stance. Because even if we, Seeking a trial even if we're getting close, um, Kolek is not good at ambushing. We march. And he doesn't have lightning strike, so we don't have to worry about that. Incorruptible. On the march. All right, and Tyrion just. Make your way down here. Maybe I'll go for Eagle Eries first. We definitely need to sell Ice Spewer. Do not look for me in the light. I lurk in shadow. Yes. Cool. Legend, you're a sweetheart. Thanks. I appreciate that, I guess. Alright, that's all good. Alphorn Princess. If you will it. What would you have right. of me? Time to take Hill Pit. For the Ever Queen. I'll bring that army up as well. I will leave the Asur. Have the Druki and Cathay been dealt with? Yes. They've been dealt with. Yeah. There are no Druki left. They're all extinct. I don't think that one's coming in as reinforcements. No, that's fine. The Asur need me. Occupy their lands. Can I offer assistance? Cool. Alright, that's looking good. Alright, you take Plesk. Order has arrived. Servant of Light. Your fan base is losers who can't beat the game of legendary, so they have to watch. Waiting for my ban? Alright. No worries, dude. I'll oblige you. You can you can fuck off. There you go. Go go revel in being a victim. You got banned. You got what you asked for. To battle. This changes nothing. Now you can run off to another streamer. Oh my god, I got banned on Legend of Total War stream and all I said was Something that I didn't actually say. <laughs> go, 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 go forth and be annoying somewhere else. If you want the exact reason you got banned, you're annoying everyone. You won't find a single sympathizer in the chat. Being like, how can I, as a viewer, make this entire stream about me? I need attention, even if it's negative attention. Happens every now and again. But there you go, you got the negative attention. Congrats. Now, see you later. Alright, Volksgrad. I said I was going to possibly sell that to Katarin in exchange for a settlement, because I don't want these Norsecan settlements to be mine. Because that'll make the war against Katarin a lot easier. So, I need to trade for... Maybe the Bay of Blades. The shadows come. The day wanes. Are you prepared for no, death? No, 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 not you, not you. Okay, so now let's go to Volksgrad. Should be worth yeah, it's worth a fair bit. I could probably sell it to Altar for Altar of Spawns. Okay, that's, as far as she's concerned, a fairly even, even swap. I'll accept that. Wait, hang on. Yeah, yeah, okay, let's do that. Friends of Kislev, so, we greet you. Volksgrad for Altar of Spawns. 
I think I can give this to Alithanar. So now I go to Alithanar. Where is he? There. Not As an altar of spawns. Kin. I hope it's not too ah! Still can't swap it. I need to get that. Need to get that other settlement. Um, this one here. If I get Winter Pyre, then I can sell it. Alright, let me just see if I can get that settlement off her this Mistress, turn for something. Like so I want Winter Pyre. Friendship endures. Ugh. Altar of Spawns? No, she won't do that. Doom Keep? She will do that, but I don't want to give her Doom Keep. Erengrad? No, I'm not giving her Erengrad. Hell Pit? I don't care about Hell Pit. Let me just see if there's anything else. Novchozzi. Flesk. Serpent Jetty. Throw in a hundred grand for that one. Serpent Jetty. Temple of Heimkel. No. Monolith of Flesh. But then I wouldn't be able to... Yeah, that would just defeat the purpose. Varg Camp. Again, another one that would defeat the purpose. Uh, okay, so I'm, I'm leaning towards giving her Hell Pit, because that's not an important settlement, so that I can do what I wanted to do all along over here. Alright, Hell Pit for Winter Pyre. Done deal. And I'll take it, all of her money. Actually, could you also join war against uh, Puppets of Misrule? Yep. And could you also go to war with Grimgore's Ard Boys? And Heralds of the Tempest? Yep, okay, that seems a good deal. I'll take that. My people are good. Okay, now I need to speak to Alithanar only come and peace. give him Winter Pyre. Perhaps you may even leave Nagareth that way too. Yes, cool. Now I can give him a whole bunch of settlements that I've been meaning to give him for ages. For, for Very well. free. Then Altar of Spawns. For one the gold. End justifies the means. Kristoff the Legend Lover became a new member. Thanks, dude. Appreciate that support. Okay, then there's this one here, which is called Monolith of Flesh. Fate favors us. Hey, damn offensive. How's it going? Then Varg Camp. Yep. Good. So this is gonna make it so that the war against Katarin is gonna be a lot easier for us. Because I'm not gonna have to worry about these settlements. If they get attacked, it just it just doesn't matter. I can focus on my armies. And if she goes after them, who cares? Then Monol oh, hang on, Doom Keep. Yep, get that one as well. For one yes. gold. <laughs> then you also get You also get these two settlements here. So that's Monolith of Katam. For one gold. The end. God, I can't give it to me for absolute free. It's gotta pay a little bit. And then Serpent Jetty. Alright, and I'm finally pulled out of Norska completely. Us. That's what I wanted this entire bloody time. Good, I don't own a single settlement in Norska. I own Albion, but that one's fine. Good, that means I don't need to station any armies out this way. That is really good. Uh, I'll probably need to put an army in Erengrad when the time comes, but that's fine. I'm not giving that up. I could give it to a Lithanar, though. Loyal cool, seven. so these two will just swing around. Hang on, let me just think about this. Alright. Alright. Alright, so, Katarin now... I think is at her the end of her usefulness. Uh, Christoph the Legend Lover of the Nintendo Super Chat. Sick haircut, man. You look amazing. Just been wondering if you'll ever unban my main. It's been 18 months and I believe the time is served. Regards, Christoph. Thanks, Super Chat. I, if I recall correctly, you did send me an email. I'm not sure if... I, I maybe didn't see the, the follow-up email. You need to send me a link to your YouTube account so that I can click on it and then hit unban. So, send me an email... Or even better still, because I'm really bad with get, catching every single email. I just received too many. So, 
Yeah, just just what you gotta do. Just send it to me via email and just bump it every day until I actually see it. Sometimes it can take a while, just because of the sheer number of emails that I get and how much how much junk that comes through. But yeah, I appreciate the super chat. Eighteen months is definitely time served, especially considering I don't know what you did. All right, back to this. Ready, king and country. How are people always getting banned on here? Um, recently, not so many. Not so many, but... Okay, a little while ago, I actually unbanned everybody. And we had a huge wave of trolls show up. And it just was like a huge ban fest. And mostly moderators uh, doing it. But for the most part, very few people actually get banned on these streams. For this entire live stream campaign, this is episode 11, I've maybe banned two people. One of them was just like five minutes ago. And then a lot of them are bots. I was actually thinking about unbanning everyone again the other day, but I just realized there'd just be so many trolls that come back and be like, Ah, I'm unbanned. I'm going to go into a legend and just get banned again. Which, you know, I don't know why they bother with that. Okay. He said he was going to take that out. That's their last settlement, right? That's their last settlement. I'm done with, with Castalton. Now, to dismantle more of the Order Tide, we have to get rid of Katarin. So she's next to, to get fucked up. To the ice so, it is time to break all of our treaties with Katarin and make her hate us. Once she hates us, I can then get her to cancel all of her agreements with everyone else to isolate her from everyone. Unfortunately, I've given her a bunch of settlements and that, that's going to... Like, gifts given to the ice court will be a fair bit. And she, she really does like me a lot. Um, so I'll probably need to use influence to can that relation with her. And everyone is going to be pretty angry with me for doing this. But that's what I've got influence. Hang on. Maybe I should do this the moment my influence resets, which is not this turn. So maybe, maybe just hold off on this. It's not something that we need to do urgently. So these two armies will move to... I'll figure it out next time. Alright, let's do some construction. But yeah, time to pull an Order 69 on um, Katarin. <laughs> Legend, it's not Order 69. If there ever was going to be an Order 69, it'd be on Katarin. Uh, Christoph, the Legend Lover, did 10 dollars subject. You reminded me of my dad, and it pisses me off. And I was drink. Oh, you reminded me of my dad, and it pissed me off. And I was drinking, so I started trolling you. I have lived with the guilt since. My dad and you are not the same man. I know that now. Love you. Uh, okay, thanks for the chat, dude. Appreciate that. That's okay. Oh, man, what am I going to put in here? Put that one. Your dad sounds like a cool dude, though. <laughs> Um, yeah, I can always demolish that later. <laughs> Alright, uh, yeah, I can't build that yet. Probably best to build some defenses. We don't want that crap. Get rid of that. When did I occupy? Oh, man, I occupied that a while ago. Giving up those uh, Northgun settlements actually lost me a fair bit of money. Probably about a hundred grand per turn. But that's fine, it doesn't matter. What's important is that when the war comes against Katarin, that I'm not sitting there scratching my head wondering which settlements I should defend against her hordes. Plus we bankrupted her by selling a bunch of settlements to her. So she's probably not rolling around in cash. 
Uh, Quang does not need defenses. We kind of got the settlement under control. Let's put that in there. That's fine. Would you do a Brizzy fan meetup? I can bring dominoes. Mm, that sounds pretty good. Maybe one day. Not right now. Maybe one day. The, do you know what I'm really worried about? Doing a fan meetup and like five people show up. <laughs> That'll be like, oh man, I really feel like a small YouTuber then. So, I don't know. Maybe one day. I tried to load an administrator, but the building cost is not going down. What am I doing wrong? I saw you do this multiple times. Yes, okay. So, that's a good question. When you load in a character, their trait doesn't apply until you make some sort of change in the game. So what you need to do is, if it's a port settlement, recruit them at a port settlement, take them out of the settlement, and then put them back into the settlement, and then it'll it'll trigger. If there isn't a port settlement, save the game and load, and then it will work. But yeah, the game doesn't check it straight away. Legend showing up to the meetup, just taking a slice and leaving. Yeah, dude, I wouldn't just take a slice. I'd take the whole pizza. <laughs> okay, so we still had plenty of things to do. We've got this one over here. I'm not sure if this is going to be auto-resolvable. doesn't matter if it isn't. If I have to fight this manually, I'm fine with it. But this ends that frontier, which is, well, to some extent. The winds of magic guide us. Do you go to many gaming conventions? That'd be a good way to meet fans. That's what I was thinking as well, if I went to gaming conventions. But here's the thing. I'm more than happy to go to a gaming convention if I was ever invited to one. Like, if I ever had, like, a... A games company. Like, look... Like, not a games company. Let's just say... Creative Assembly. When, when I was partnered with Creative Assembly, if they had said, Hey, them. Legend, let's go to... E3, and we're going to be marketing Warhammer 3, and we want you to go, I don't know if any, none of this was actually going to happen. We want you to go to E3, even though I know E3 is, is over, um, and we want you to help Fall market to Warhammer 3 power. at E3, and we'll fly you over there. Then I would have gone. Um, or if there was some place in Melbourne, or as an example, just, I'm just using rough examples, to, to promote, uh, oh man, I have to fight this manually. Oh. I don't want to fight it manually. I don't have a choice. I don't think there's any way to order resolve this without hiring some regiments of renown. Unless... Hang on. Ellie Ch Cherigui did a membership for one month. Hey, Legend, hope you're still having fun. Still waiting for your feedback on videos on what you'd like to see next. Sorry, dude. Yep. Um, oh, man, I'm just swamped at the moment May with real life stuff. You have my <laughs> Fair enough. Attention. Uh, yeah, I don't know. Like, when it comes to cinematic videos, like, you, you should just, like, whatever you want to do. And what I would recommend is maybe just spend less time on the intro. Because uh, there's a lot of build-up on, on the videos that I saw. Because when it comes to cinematic videos, yeah, that didn't change anything. Uh, when it comes to cinematic videos, I feel like people have a shorter attention span, so you, you need to get to the meat of it quicker. You want your own panel, basically? No, 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 I don't want my own panel. I just want there to be a reason for me to go. Like, I just don't, I don't want to rock up to some random game convention and... and just, just, just rock up without there being some actual reason to go there. Because here's the thing. If, if I was to go to a gaming convention, that means several days, if not a week, away from my family. And that, to me, is not appealing. So that's why I said, there has to be so. Oh, it's not a... Oh. Oh, no. I thought it was going to be a tree battle. Oh, I'm going to have to actually try hard now. <laughs> actually, I will have more of a sip of this. Okay, so, yeah, I need, I need to... Yeah, I think people forget sometimes that, that, you know, going to an event means not, you know, being with my family, which is what I would prefer. It, you know, 
as much as I'd love to meet you guys, it's just not really very convenient most of the time. So like I said, there's got to be a reason for me to go somewhere, and I, there's just never been a reason. Because like, I'll go to some place if I'm, if I'm invited. Oh boy. We don't have much magic either. I hope they were getting an auto resolve bonus. Acknowledged. Ah, oh, piss balls. 51 seconds. And they've only got a handful of troops of reinforcements. Oh man, I really need to concentrate on this battle. Uh, Christoph, the legend lover, the attendant super chat. Total war stall in Sydney, Melbourne, would be sick. Casual photos on the side out front. Doesn't need to be formal, but you'd meet so many people there, man. Yeah, I probably would, but like I said, I never get invited to those things. So I, I just... I would go if I was invited, but I'm, I'm never invited. Love and sea guard. Understood. It shall be done. As you say. It shall be done. Okay. Okay, guys. I appreciate the super chats and stuff, but right in this battle here, I've made a boo boo. Um, this is a very serious army that I thought I was going to be out of cheese, and I didn't realize it wasn't going to be a tree battle, which are easy to deal with. And so I have to very much concentrate on this fight. Because I have made a mistake here. Understood. 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 It will be done. Without fail. It's not a bad terrain for us. The fact that it's marshlands over here is not bad. Because most of their forces are infantry. How long are you gonna wait till you teach your kid to play Total War? Archers! Uh, until, wait until they're 16. As you, say. you know, because the blood pack. You know, it's not a kid's game. <laughs> okay. Alright, we are... Oh god, I don't have much magic. Should have made some extra equipment. It's okay. Right, make sure all of these are in guard mode. This, this is going to be a tough fight. Greenskins can sometimes be a real pain. 51 seconds. They'll take this position over here. We need to curve this a little bit better. Okay, that should be fine. Space them out. Alright, let's do this. Dragon needs to go and annoy the shit out of them. At least they've organized themselves kind of stupid. That's good. For us. They're waiting for their reinforcements. So it's two full stacks against not two full stacks. We are up the winds. I will not a lot of a lot of shit infantry. It is my destination. I will go. I serve okay. both. Don't have a lot of magic, so I gotta be very careful with what I use. You need to get over here. Hurry. Get over here. Right, you come and assist. Alright, we do have Net of Ammon Tox, so that's gonna be good. Shooting at me. Following my destiny. Let's right, maybe we should just use some breath attacks on something like a black orc would be good. Pretty happy with that. Okay, it looks as though they've got a Doom Diver catapult hanging around the back. That would be good to attack. Don't want that getting over here. They're going pretty damn wide. We need... To, okay, they're going to be coming around over here. Move. 
for the Ever Queen. Asaurians fire! Okay, you land on that. For now. They might send some guys back at us. Stop that Doom Diver. So bad so far. I know I've also got these. Woo, big fight coming, boys. Big fight. I think we'll be okay, though. This isn't looking super dangerous just yet. Okay, bounce power must be in our favor now because it's just start playing high off music. That's good. Just wait, 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 Yeah, we saw them coming from a mile away there. Archers! Acknowledge! For duty! Okay, I need to start bringing these ones back over here. Draw back. Come on, being a coward. You need to turn around and help out with this. Wolf one mage. Onward. Making my way. Why does it seem like so few of my units are actually shooting? What is going on here? I need a breather. Something's gone wrong with this battle. It seems as though my archers just aren't fucking shooting. Of all the battles for them to decide to, to use this bug, holy crap. Oh my god. Of all the fucking battles, my units were not firing at will. I could, oh man, I said I wouldn't ult F4 out of the battle, but they would. my units were just not doing it, what they were supposed to. The chain lightning bolts were killing you, man. They weren't doing that much. Guard mode is bugged.
Yeah, because I was noticing they were all on fire at will. They had plenty of line of sight, and they just a lot of the archers just weren't shooting. They just weren't shooting, so they were fucking bugged. And like everything was looking fine in terms of my formation. I like if I was to do the battle again, I'd do it exactly the same way. But they just weren't fucking shooting. They were all on fire at will. I checked that. Like, if I was to fight this battle again, I'd do everything exactly the same. But th those units were not firing. Scrunch crimes did a five pound super jet. Do it over if it's a bug. I feel like it's a, a bug happened in this battle. I feel like a bug happened. Like, we weren't on force march. We weren't exhausted. But, like, there was a... I had a... There was a cavalry unit that was eating my flank, and I had three or four units looking straight at it, weren't shooting. Something bugged out. I've seen this happen before in, in Warhammer 3, and people have reported on it, but of all the fucking battles. So, I'm going to do it again, and I'm not going to put them in guard mode this time. I'm going to do everything exactly the same. Everything exactly the same. Because I feel like everything was going fine apart from the archers just not shooting. I saw so many people just not shooting. It's not a bug, you manage to terrify the enemy. No, but like, they came at us in waves. They came at us in waves, and we didn't shoot them. Matey did a $20 super chat mulligan. It's not a mulligan, it is the friggin' bug. I've seen this happen before. The units just don't shoot. There were so many units just not shooting at all. We should have been seeing so many arrows. They had perfect line of sight. There was no obstruction, but they just weren't shooting. MPP ANZL did a 10 year super jet. Yes, that's a bug. Happened to me several times in my Cathay campaign. Yeah. Stupid bugs. Oh well. There's a nice corner over here to the left that can't be flanked. Yeah, but my reinforcements come over here. Like I said, I would do this exactly the same way. Just don't put them on guard mode this time. In fact, it might be best if I actually give them attack orders, because they were just not shooting. So, I want to do that exactly the same way. But no guard mode this time. Because we don't need guard mode, they're going to fight to the death. Make sure we spread out adequately. Pretty much the same formation that we used. But yeah, I was certain my guys weren't shooting. It was pissing me off. Archers! Acknowledged! Without fail! Okay. And I'll just do the exact same thing again. Because like we ate up their artillery at the start. I thought that was really good. We will obey! It will be done. It will be done. Pretty similar formation. Archers. Don't put them on guard mode this we time. Will obey. Same formation. Yep. Wait for reinforcements to come in. Let's go annoy them. So we're just going to do exactly the same thing and hope that the bug doesn't happen this time. The archers are slow to fire because they stand the marshes. That has nothing to do with this. If we have a look, it just reduces their speed in melee attack. Shallow water doesn't affect firing rate. I've fought thousands of battles with them in water. It doesn't do anything. Okay. 
Uh, Warren Moroni did a five dollar super chat. When you cheese AI, it's okay, but when it cheeses back, it's not. Well, if it's a bug though. But thanks for the super chat. Appreciate it. Okay. Like I said, I'm just gonna do everything the exact same way. Blackhawks over here. All right, bring these two up this way. Orders received. Like I said, everything the same. Just Orders. don't use guard mode this time because that seems to bug them out. Without question. It's a terrain bug. All right, well, to, to overcome it, I'll just have to manually fire my units, which against a large army is a bit of a pain. All right, I'm going to land on that one, though. All right, just let me, let me fight this battle, guys. I got this. Artillery over here to go land on. I'm going to keep a close eye on how they're firing in this. Because, yeah, none of them are in force march. It shouldn't affect their firing rate. Said everything the same. Without fail. Orders received. We will obey. Moving out. Following Ethua. As you say. Without fail. Making my way. Okay, it's facing the wrong way, so it's not that big of a deal. Brave and true. One more. They seem to be firing now. It will be done. They seem to be firing just on their own. Seeking the foe. See, look, they're firing. Just fine. Everyone seems to be firing now. No one seems to be obstructed. I'm not seeing... This is what we should have been seeing last time. Look at all the arrows flying. Oh, 
forward. Acknowledged. Yeah, they're shooting at it. Seeking the foe. Eagle claw. Loyal. Orders received. For duty. Understood. Sinaf. Like we were never gonna take no damage. Making my way. Very well. Setting forward. Acknowledged. Yurifa! Both one mage. Let's need to be using breath attacks where possible. I see my path. To the fray! I will not tarry. For the king! As you say! Understood! Pull back! Noble! Quickly now! Quick time! To the fray! Pull back! Moving out! Son of mm. Ulfgren! Together! Maybe it doesn't look quite as good as I thought. Loyal. Eagle Claw! Loven Seaguard! Noble! Rapid advance! As you say. Conceal the Assyrian! For the Emperor Queen! Observe my radiance! Loyal! Death to all! Archers! Dauntless! Forward! Finish them! For order! Asa, withdraw! Asa, attack! We have Asa, withdraw! They tremble before our power! Asa, fall! Master of sorcery! I I actually may may have just underestimated this. I think this is the end of the campaign. I think this might actually be the end of the campaign. I think it wasn't actually bugged, and I just I just underestimated these green skins. They're just too strong. That might actually be the case here. This might be the end. Sorry, guys. Rapid advance. Quickly now. There's just so many of them, Noble. and I thought I could beat them. All for them. Without fail. Eagle claw. Archers. Understood. I sally forth. Yeah, I think I, I think Eagle I actually claw. legit lost. Loyal. Quickly now. March. Asa, move. I'm gonna need to swoop. <laughs> I need to swoop the fuck out of this. Hopefully, it doesn't army loss me. Can I get that guy out of there? I think I, I think I legit lost. I'm sorry, guys. I think I've lost this fight. Did I kill the enemy general? No. I think I've lost this battle. Asa, 
Withdraw. I think I did, yeah. Unless unless these lords can win this the battle for us on their own. I think I've lost this battle. I need to t Okay, look. I'm not going to give up just yet. It doesn't look good. But if I can just not get army lost. Understood. Take out their fast units and just use these flyers here. I might be able to win. As long as I don't get the army losses. I get one more heal. And I got some dragon breaths and I can swoop. Archers. <laughs> but I got a lot to... Alright, who's ready for a four hour battle? Okay, I think their general actually left the battlefield. Oh my god. Get out of there. Yes. I underestimated them here big time. Alright, it's a swoopy battle. Who's ready for a swoopy battle? I wish I had looked after my wizard. Don't you dare shoot. Right, these ones have to run around. Shit. They cut off. You have to run in this direction here. We advance. The winds flow through me. Man, not the having much winds of magic. Pirate Shit, we gotta take ready. out that one though. Please tell me the Doom Diver catapults are gone. They're not. Fuck. We are up the winds. All right. Well, I've got it. All right. Okay. Hang on. Hang on. Hang on. Hang on. How am I gonna do this? I've got to get rid of these. Hang on. Everyone's did a ten dollar super chat. I didn't hear no bell. All right, thanks super chat, dude. Yeah, it's a cheesy battle. Here we go. All right, I'm gonna need you to go and sort out this fucking doom diver catapult. Cause I need these guys here to run around the back of the enemy army. And I can't just hide in the woods. They remember where we are. I can't run through here. I have to run through this way. Okay, they're not they're not really chasing us that much. We might be able to get them to reform in other directions. Oh my god, what have I done? Do you know what's funny? I think some equipment could have made a big difference here. Alright, I need to stop that goblin from getting up to my missile units. Get that one out of there. I am certain that I can win this battle, but I just fucking underestimated these greenskins. Massively underestimated them. First thing I underestimated- okay, hang on, they're not hidden. First thing I underestimated... Okay, cool, they're off the, the Doom Diver, that's good. First thing I underestimated was their... I got bre breath attacks. Oh man, they're still freaking those ones. It is not over yet. It is not over yet. This does not look good though. Okay, no winds of magic. I can't swoop in Warhammer 3. You just can't. And these guys here are tethering me to the ground. I've got to pick off isolated targets wherever I can. I All of their artillery carry. seems to be off. Their artillery. Sends me. We need to look for things like this to just like land on. I got a few breath attacks which need to be used on black orcs. My destination. Moving. Witness true magic. That was not a good breath attack.
I massively underestimated these orcs. They didn't do any damage to us. You need to escort them off the battlefield. Please do a good job of this. My power. I see my power. The reason I'm going for that is to hope to hit other things as well. That was actually a pretty good one. Something is shooting at us. Alright, I need to make a run for it through here if I can. I can't win this fight with, with what we've got left here. Like, look, they're running for us here. Do you know what, this is one of those situations where some extra equipment could have really come in handy. <laughs> oh, I'm such a dumbass here. I've got to slow these fuckers down so I can get them through. They, they do actually have a goblin rock lubber shooting at us. You guys need to run through there. I might be able to maybe kind of swoop, maybe. They need to get through that. I'm not gonna give up. I'm not gonna give up. We've come too far to to lose here. They're forming up in really weird ways. We're also quite exhausted. Isolated unit over there. Watch out for their archers. Watch out for their archers. They will shoot at us. Man, if I could have some more healing, that'd be great. That'd be really great. If somebody just to route after one swoop. Uh, not really. Don't forget that the end game crisis. Okay, biggest problem is going to be the Org Boar Boy Biggins. For one thing, they are anti large. And I don't have any magic. And they can catch up to our guys here. So the ammunition on these has to be used on them. Man, I really kind of don't know what happened here. I guess I just didn't have enough armor piercing. You guys need to get over here. Noble. That's not going to do anything. It's not going to do anything. Get back. Oh man, I oh, fucking. I will. Led by Jesus Christ! I should have hired the regiment for now. Should have auto resolved it. <laughs> If it had been an actual tree settlement battle like I thought it was going to be, I'm pretty sure it would have been fine. I gotta stop complaining. We just gotta figure this out. Just gotta try to get free bits of damage wherever we can. Landing on them would be a big mistake. They'll do too much damage to us. I gotta get these guys just around wherever I can. If I keep flying around them, they keep trying to reform. They've lost their, like, super aggressiveness. The archers weren't shooting at all. So maybe the terrain was bugged. Maybe we did actually encounter that bug. I'm not sure. It looked like our guys were shooting at first and then they just weren't for some reason. I've just got to pick on units at the sides. Do I still have another breath attack? I got one more breath attack. The problem with breath attacks is that they're you got to aim at something that isn't moving. It is my Good, we tear a route of that. Man, I tell you what, right now, I miss swooping. Stop it, stop, 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 stop. It's doing damage to me. Not much, but it's doing some damage. I miss swooping right now. Triumph is assured. Led by Archmage's nephew. 
Alright, I'm gonna try to do a swoop on these black orcs with just one unit. Biggest problem is gonna be these archers now because I need to get them isolated and I can't. There's so many archers as well. At least we've shattered another unit. Every time we shatter a unit, that gives us a little bit extra time to play. It might be a good idea if these two here just try to recover their fatigue a little bit. I am sent. I'm gonna try to swoop. Take arms. It's not. You can't do it in Warhammer Three. A prudent position. Yeah. See you land. And I didn't kill any of them. Hmm, yes. they got a few guys coming in over here, trying to give them a bit of a rest. I wish I could heal. We just didn't have any magic in this battle. Is this the one? I think this is the one, yeah. I'm gonna do my best to try to win, but I think it's, uh... I basically didn't prepare enough. I thought it was gonna be a different type of battle, and I just didn't prepare enough. Uh, a few items on these guys could have made a huge difference. Because our army didn't do very well against theirs. And our guys just went... Okay, these ones here are kind of moving away. Okay, here's something. These artillery are having a low chance of hitting us. It is not without some hope. I mean, it's a fucking black orcs everywhere. Alright, I've got to lure these ones away. I can maybe beat them with the flying goon squad. Maybe. Hang on. Yeah, they're splitting their units to go chase this one, because that's the main commander of the battle. Orc arrow boys, orc arrow boys. Okay. Alright, there are enemy orc boar boy biggins on the way. We need to take out that unit, because they're going to be good against our dragons. Uh, Dropkick did a fight awesome Good morning. When are we getting some Skaven action? I don't know, dude. Uh, bad time to ask that question. I usually don't plan my streams that far in advance, but thanks, Super Chat. Alright, so... Alright, let's have a look here. Alright, get them over here now. These are isolated. Now would be a good time to take out these Orc Arrow Boys. Now, okay, so here are the big things that are a threat. The Black Orcs, they can't reach us. They can't catch up to our guys. They're too slow. Fast units are going to be the problem here. Orc Arrow Boys are not worth shooting at. We need to save our ammunition for their truly dangerous units. We have a fair amount of ammunition on these units. But see, we've got an isolated troop here. This is exactly what we want to see normally for, for something like this. We just have to take them out bit at a time, very carefully, until it reaches a point where we army lost them. Okay, that one's running away now. Let's let's come at it. Let's change his mind again. Move these back around this way. I think we routed the enemy lord. We didn't kill him, so they've just got really high leadership. Let's see if they're doing any damage to us. I think, I think their AI is kind of busted. They're not really fighting back very much. Yeah, they're not. 
Okay, you guys need to get back around this way here. Wherever they're going, go the opposite direction. I still need to really take out that Goblin Rock Lobber, eventually. You have a saving disaster battle? Yeah. Do dragons get fatigued? Absolutely they do. This one here is not fighting back at the moment. So we're getting a bunch of free hits in. That's exactly what we want to see normally. Good. Looks like we're about to terror route that unit, but we're also getting very close to these other troops. We need to start falling back. I've got to take out that other piece of artillery. Alright, it's not wiped out, but I did some damage to it, but I, I can't risk continuing to fight there. I think we mostly got free kills on that, so that's good. Alright, these ones here keep falling back that way. We need to fly around, try to get them to constantly reform. That wasn't too bad. That wasn't too bad. Every unit that we can wipe out... Oh, no, 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 no! Oh, they've still got fucking magic left. Oh my god, that's my not good. Moving. For the white tower. I've got to take out this fucker here. The the winds flow through me. Archmages never fail. Sir, Archmage. There's also still a troll unit. <laughs> you know, if I had a few more archers, I might feel a bit more confident. So this is good. Take that one out. I will go. Led by okay, that's going to block all their shots. Assyrians fire. All right. All right. All right. Let's try to uh, get them to turn around again. A all right. That one shouldn't go back on its archery, so we don't have to worry about that Assyrians one so much now. Please hit trees, please hit trees. Oh, thank God. Can't believe they've still got Winds of Magic left. Yeah, so if I was to do this again, I would give myself a bunch of those Starwood stuff so I could have more Winds of Magic. Give these guys a lot of equipment. It is my goal. Not much I could do to improve these units. Would have hired some Regiments of Renown. Probably, probably could be able to auto resolve it if I had Regiments of Renown. I always Destiny underestimate green skins. Me. Another Legend of Total Swoop. Unfortunately, in Warhammer 3, you can't swoop. We tried it on some Black Orcs. It doesn't work. So, it's not a case of swooping. It's a case of finding isolated units and using the right troop to take it out. So, these three here are the right troop to take out the Orc Borboy Biggins. As long as they're completely isolated, that's the big thing here. Now, just let's just wait a moment and try to recover some fatigue, because they're mostly going after this lord here. This is, de this is definitely the toughest battle of this campaign. <laughs> so avoidable! I didn't have to fight this battle either. Could have just waited. It's just that they just started a war as well. Um, a bit I did a five dollar super chat. The game can conveniently crash and the turn rewinds so you can hire regiments of renown for the battle. I mean, it happens. No, I said I wouldn't do that for this campaign. I said I wouldn't do that. Dragon breath. I'm saving it because there's just our dragon breath so far. They just keep missing, so we got to wait for the right target. I think. Maybe no, no. That hiding doesn't work in Warhammer Three. They they know where we are. Swooping doesn't work. What if you land with the Great Eagle and bait them? Uh, no, that's not going to work. <coughs> no, it won't work. I have to wait for isolated weak units for me to land on. Because don't forget, these are just wizards. With no winds of magic. I, I really don't think I can overcome these odds. This is so insane. Like, there's Black Orcs in here.
And we're probably right on the edge of an army losses. Like, it, it'll only need to do a little bit of damage to us, to army losses. Is this the end? I think it's the end of the campaign, yeah. I think it's the end. I think this is where we suffer a defeat. But we'll see. I'm not going to give up. I'm not going to give up. <coughs> but I think this might be the end. Alright, they're sending a bunch of guys over this way. We need to go and assist them. <coughs> damn it, they've, they've still got magic. Damn it, damn it, I can't dodge that fucking spell. Every time they do even 100 damage to us, essentially for free like that, it's very bad. I need to stop these Orc Arrow Boys and... Oh, fuck, they're big ones. As you say, for duty! Asurian guides us. Asur Archmage. Hoeth guides me. I am sent. Master of sorcery. Archmage repositioning. Following my destiny. Right. What I need to do. Potent spells. Let the archers shoot at the biggins. Oh, they picked up a rock, lo rock lubber there. The winds flow through All right, well, we stopped that. Carried by the wind. That's unusual. You don't see that very often. I, saw Archmage. All right, I can't be landing these guys near a biggin unit. That would be very Seeking bad. Fate. What are these orc arrow boys? My journey continues. Unlimited power. So close to finishing off Grimgor as a faction well, as well. Weaver of the winds. Destiny sends me. <sighs> For controls there as well. It is my goal. I will not carry Would you do anything differently if you redo it? Well, if I was to redo it, I would need a lot of equipment. And even then, I'm not sure if it would be enough. Um, what, what would I do differently? I think I would try to have a more mobile force. Focus more on their faster units. Um, I would definitely have tried a bit harder to keep my wizard alive. I sent it off to tank something and it died. Because the wizard can run around because it's on um, horseback. Flynn did a five pound super chat. Hey, Legend, wanted to show my thanks since we've been away for some time, but glad to see you doing well, enjoying your time. Best of luck, bud. Alright, thanks, dude. Appreciate that. Okay, still getting shot at. Alright, I need to... I need these ones to get around over here. I need to get around their back again. And just try for another round of it. This battle is gonna... If I'm gonna win this, it's gonna take a while, because I have to look for any free attacks. I don't know how we haven't been army lost yet. Oh no. Oh no, they got on that artillery piece again. I need to sort that out. Asurian sends me! Oh no. Oh no, 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 no. Get in there and hide. <laughs> okay, come on. Waste that shot and it. Okay, cool. That was a waste. They're aiming for us and they're hitting us. And if they rout us, we're, we're fucked. Acknowledged. I need to stop that one right now. Okay, they're all hidden. How many kills did you end up getting? I don't know. Master of sorcery. At least it's isolated. That's that's good. Go. Are these regenerating still? No. I saw Archmage. All right, that's not coming back. Oh, no, no, no. I think that actually hit their own artillery. I don't think that did much damage. I need to kill that guy, but he's he's in the middle of their units. I can't get at him. Their general dead or routed? He's routed, so I, I'm not going to get that morale penalty from beating him. 
Okay, I gotta get back around over here. Get them back over here. I, I'm pretty sure this is doomed. I'm pretty sure this is this is it. Like this guy here is just gonna keep shooting at us, and he and I can't get at him. I can't land because they've got cavalry. There are they've got like 40 units on the battlefield still, and I've got five or six. Yeah, like I said, he just keeps shooting at me. Even though each one is not doing that much damage, I can't afford to take it. I just massively underestimated them. Massively. Alright, we've got two units over here, looking like they want to have a bit of a fight. Let's lure the rest of their army up, and I'll try to support them as best as I can. So there's a Biggin unit and a Orc Boar Boy Biggin. Those are two units that the archers should be trying to shoot at. Just focus on low health units. Think you got this? I definitely don't. There's too many high value units here, and we've lost too much balance of power. Like, our fight over here just didn't go well enough. Okay, this is interesting. Maybe this could work. Alright, let's move them up a little bit. Oh, no, no, no. No, actually, stand on the ridge there. Put them on fire at will. Oh, I'd kill for another chain lightning in here, but I've used them all up. Alright, what we need to do... Turn around. No, 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 I need to, I need to kill some of these units. Right, you, freaking land here, get them to chase you. Okay, they turned around, they turned around, that's good. Lure them in. Form up. Shoot the orc boy big in first. Just wait, wait for it, wait for it, wait for it. Come on, break it, break it, break it. I think we terror routed them. That was good. That was really good. That didn't cost us much ammo. And I don't think this one here did any additional damage to us. That was good. If we can do more of that, there's hope. Oh, fucking hit their own units, please. They did a little bit. They did a little bit. Come on, route for fuck's sake. Unlimited power. Moving. Following my Taking too much destiny. damage on Failure important units. Alright, I've got to get them to turn around again. Now you need to make sure this one here doesn't come back. Go fly after it. <laughs> We're just outpowered by too much here. Oh, and they're closing in on us here. I need to get them to turn around. Stand around over here. Got to get them to turn around. Oh no. Because, yeah, they're targeting the the dragons more than anything. They don't care too much about these guys. A few freaking trolls coming in. Get around the back. Sends me. Shit. How I can't deal with this dude. Alright, we got trolls coming in. You have to shoot at it. We 
We've got most of their army to turn around, because they're stupid. Come on, break them, break them, break them, break them. You have to break them. Good, now shoot that one over there. Come on, a couple more shots, break them. Okay, we killed all of them. Stop. Okay, I gotta get these ones back over here and deal with these arrows. Arrow boys. We got Orc Biggins over here. I've gotta get around them. Shit, you need to move fucking fast. Get over here, boy. Without fail. We're gonna have to shoot at these guys. It's gonna take them too long to get here. It will be done. Fuck, I got nowhere left to fall back. For Assyria. This is it, this is where I think we get get wrecked. Come on. Try to come on. Come on. At least these are tired. We gotta run now. These are about to get pinned down. Shoot it. Shoot it. It's turned around. Shoot it. You go that way. You two go this way. Land. It is done. Weaver of the wind. Quick time. Asser, advance. Fucking got me here, I think. Ready. No. They've kind of got me, but I can I can get around them. I can get around them. We advance. Rapid advance. Victory is destined. Shit, don't fight this guy for too long. Too much damage, too much damage. We've got more trolls coming in. There's no way. There's just no way. We're too worn out. There's too many of them. We've got fucking trolls coming in. You are losing ground. We're gonna get army lost. Yeah. We just we just can't really deal with these fuckers. Okay, routed them. That's great. That's great. It's hardly enough. Oh my god, I'm running on fumes. We've got to route these trolls now. And you need to run out this way. If there's any hope, you've got to... Okay, we routed those trolls to route them. Okay, and you guys need to start moving all of these fuckers away again. Oh no. <laughs> There's no way. There's no Dragon Breath isn't gonna do anything, man. <laughs> We're pinned down. They've got us. They've got us. That was fucking hopeless. They've got us. Assyrian guides us. You need to keep running. If I have just one unit on the ground, as long as I don't get army lost, we're okay. Get out of there, get out of there, get out of there. This one's stuck. There's the army losses. Campaign over, guys. Alright. Campaign over. We just got army lost. Oh, I did the best I could, but I just underestimated them. What I want to see here is what would have taken to get an order resolve. 
I think I can still hire regiments of renown. I just want to see if I can just auto resolve it. I think the it was a bug battle. It was probably a bit bugged. It was probably a bit bugged, but I just um, I couldn't do it. Does ever rematch try again? No. No. Like I said, I wasn't gonna do it this time. That is the end of this campaign, unfortunately. The annoying thing is, is that once again a battle that I didn't have to fight. I didn't prepare enough for. Uh, some equipment could have made a big difference. Um, or some more equipment. I just underestimated them because I thought it was going to be a tree settlement. I didn't check the settlement. All I had to do was do this. If I had just checked this, I would have seen that this was going to be a field battle. Look at what we were up against here. Because I thought it was that's what we I thought it was going to be. If I had just done... Master of high oh, I can't get any more regiments, regiments of renown anyway. Because I'm outside high friendly mage. territory. There's nothing I could have done. But yeah, look how much equipment we had. Within my but that being said, I didn't have to fight this battle. I could have backed off. This guy doesn't have lightning strike. I could have just backed off if I had seen that. But I didn't. Lightning strike? No, no, that's terrible because that's... Look, they're, they're going to bring all of their forces and... Yeah. Anyway. Uh, man, doing a no defeat campaign, full map completion, is extremely arduous. You, one mistake and then it's just over. As I said, you know, a lot of people said this does nothing that can stop you, but there absolutely is. And it just happened to be the end game crisis as well. So I'm going to call it a day there with uh, with this campaign. We're going to call that a loss. Uh, I just made a mistake. I didn't have to make that fight. I just didn't have to do it. I just thought it would be easy because it would be a minor settlement battle. And that would make it easy. Because if you have a look here... Yeah, I just didn't freaking realize that tree settlements weren't minor settlement battles, if not owned by tree, by tree factions. Anyway, let's go chuck a host over to someone, and that is the end of this campaign, I'm afraid. Are you a little glad it's over? No, not really. I was, I was kind of looking forward to full map completion. But maybe we'll just have to do it uh, try again another time. Because, uh, yeah, we just didn't didn't manage it. Such a massive map. Especially if you've got an endgame crisis, that is a problem. Anyway, as I was saying, a lot of the uh, the interest in the campaign was dwindling, so honestly, I'm not that upset about this. Okay, let's go chuck a host over to someone, and I'm going to call that a day. Let's see who's live streaming. All right, looks like Skaven Dan is live streaming. He's doing a quick he's doing a quick head taker zero defeats campaign. So from one zero uh, zero defeats campaign to another, but he's only on part one, so he's got a long way to go. All right, we're gonna chuck the host over to him. Really appreciate the support throughout this live stream campaign. I'm not sure what's coming next. I might take a little bit of a break. Um, four got ten did a six zero super chat. Rest in peace, man. Still a great campaign. Yeah, unfortunately, I just can't seem to get a no defeat campaign without. Without a, uh, like an ulti fault. Like, I don't have to fight that battle. Um, but I just... This is the thing. When you spend so much time order resolving and just so many easy fights, you eventually encounter a situation that you just don't prepare for, and it gets you. That's that's what happens. Especially when you end up fighting... Hang on, how many battles do, did we fight? We fought... 518 battles. But like I said, I wasn't going to reload and just redo battles that I that I lost on. Anyway, we'll chuck in the host over to Skaven Dan, and I will see you guys another time. Now oh, where is he? Okay, cool. All right, catch you guys later. Really appreciate all the support, and we'll see you later.